We're back. Welcome to Airliners Live, ladies and gents. Just as, uh, let me have a go at this. I'll do me best, mate. I'm really <laughs> sorry about this. Cop, uh, hold on. Cop Shani Tibor. That is, that's broke. I can't say that. Thank you very much for the premium economy, dude. Welcome. I'm sorry. Please um, let me know in the chat how to pronounce your name, dude. But welcome to uh, VIP. Nailed it. Jenny Mad Mum, hello, welcome. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well on Twitch. All good, guys. Smooth as silk. Awesome. We're not messing about. Uh huh. <sighs> Just a love time to A320 here. And there's a Scandinavian from Oslo in the new scheme as well. Nice. Next in, which will be nice to see. Good start. Quite a good start to the day. I know you haven't got your camera with you anyway, but there was a bit of an unusual movement just before you arrived before. Oh, yeah. Um, an Enter Air 737. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw them on Project Air. We did, yeah. That was the last time I'd seen them here at Manchester. I think it's a Polish airline Enter, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. It's Here's a Scandi just touching down. Lufthansa is stopping for a look. Yeah. Watching the touchdown. <laughs> Best view in the house, right? Also with the mask design on that Neo as well. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it looks very nice. He's going to roll on past, I think. He's going to keep going. Both times are just waiting, usually just trying to get directions to the uh, the gate yeah, or trying to figure the way out. Probably just be checking the charts and stuff like that, I would have thought. Yeah. There he goes. I've, uh, I've found a newfound love for the A320, I'll say that on today's show. Oh yeah, just a regular A320. No, <laughs> definitely not a Neo. Definitely not a Neo. Great Mikey sound. C, nice to see you, dude. Tuning in from Whitby. Hope you're doing well. Lufty stopping for a pose. Yeah. Great pictures from Airliners Live, says Darren. Ladies and gents, talking to great pictures. Um, let me know the yay or nay in the chat if you were watching and if you enjoyed Darren's stream from Lake and Heath. Oh yeah. That was 10 out of 10. Uh, was that yesterday? I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? Or the day before. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, it was a great stream. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. He's absolutely smashing it at the minute, uh, Darren. Yeah, he does great streams. He's a, he's a good presenter as well, so yeah, really knows what he's, he's talking about. Delta, nice to see you tuning in from Vienna. And uh, Kag says, absolutely awesome, lads. New member, appreciate all you guys do. Thanks so much. Cheers, Kag. Appreciate you, dude. Welcome all. Quality, hold on, what was that? Quality is amazing as usual. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Brilliant picture quality today. I don't think we've changed anything, have we? I'm not sure. I think because we've been offline so long, you've been watching too many <laughs> other streamers. That's the <laughs> <a> problem. <laughs> no joking. disrespect to the other streamers. Only joking, guys. Love that. And I like the engine as well. Yeah, with the blue. Um, Kind of stripe on it. Yeah, very thin blue stripe and that off white silver colour. The SAS and then down yeah. the tail. I like that. Nice. Has anyone in the chat noticed the new emotes for our VIPs yet, by the way? Uh oh. Or new emote singular. I was going to say, is there more than one? Nah, just one. We only had one slot and I fulfilled that slot last night. I, I was up quite late last night as well, to be fair. Roger. <laughs> Probably not as late as you, or as early as you, whatever you were doing. I know, ladies and gents, I am operating on about three hours sleep today, <laughs> unfortunately. He's going to say some weird things. <laughs> yeah, I will do my best to stay on topic. I have periods where I just cannot get to sleep. Yeah. I, my brain just doesn't switch off. And uh, last night was one of those days, unfortunately. So, yes, I think I got to bed finally about 3.30 a.m. this morning, and I was... Uh, Alright. Ah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty rough this morning, guys. Shh, shh, everyone be quiet. 
<laughs> if you nod off, we'll we'll leave you to it. Listen, talking and getting getting uh, being able to nod off. We've got a special guest on today's show, which is actually going to be really good for me because it means I can go and have a kip. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, no, we're going to be joined, ladies and gents, by a good friend of ours, a friend of ours that's been uh, built up from the channel, and. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we're going to have him on the show today, which is going to be quite good. I think the VIPs already know. Um, but in about an hour's time, ladies and gents, we will have a guest host on the show, which is Mr. Bing Bong Paul Davies, ladies and gents. Yes. So we've got him on mic. We will do his do our best to uh, tell him to behave himself. <laughs> yeah, you all, you all, especially the VIPs know what he's like, but uh, he has promised us he'll uh, keep it uh, PG. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Paul's going to be joining us uh, on the show today, later on. And that is kind of what persuaded me to go with the 7.5 emotes, because there was two emotes I wanted to create for two different aircrafts. The 757 and the King of the Skies. Now, the King of the Skies, he already got a bit of fame with the uh, the new merch drop, so... I wanted to create a, a long and skinny emote for the yeah. long and skinny 757. And it looks pretty good, I think. Quite happy with it. But yeah, it uh, should be quite a good show today. It's not something, just to be clear, ladies and gents, that it's not something we're going to do on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, for, for reasons we won't go into, we've, we've invited Paul on today's show. So looking forward to it. It should be good. I find a large drink is good for sleeping fine. I actually find the opposite sometimes. Good for napping, aren't they? They're good for a nap, but I wouldn't say they're good for a... Uninterrupted sleep. Yeah. A Vision Thing member for 18 months of business class saying have a great day, folks. Cheers, Vision. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, Vision Thing. Appreciate it. Thank God it's Fry, yay. Yes. Yeah, the livery on that EasyJet was the uh, holiday special livery. Yes. And Jane Chu is starting the show off with a £10 super chat. Bing Bong says here's a tenner to put towards coffees as it's freezing out there. Thank you very much, Jane, the first super chat of the day. Um, today, I learnt my lesson from last week. I have probably got too many layers on. Um, mm. Right now? Yeah. It is pretty chilly. It's only three degrees here, so... Yeah, I've got... Um, <coughs> Thermal t-shirt, right. normal t-shirt, coat, uh, big thick fleece, right. and a coat, and gloves. Oh, look what it is. It's a... Uh... Woolly hat, thermal pants, and then fleece line pants on top of them. All right. And full wool socks with boots. So if I'm cold today, guys, there's nothing more You'll I can put be... on. <gasps> Speaking of cold, we've got the Iceland Air, brand new. <laughs> livery very reminiscent of a certain uh, livery I will say I think we might as well get the, uh, the chat off to a flying start here what do you all think of the Iceland Air's new liveries is it a yay or a nay and Alan Wenden, welcome to Premium Economy. Thank you very much, Alan. Cheers for the support, dude. Cheers, Alan. Uh, mod check on the uh, message lorries. Just put in the mod chat, please. Do you want to take this? Let's follow this. You've got the Iceland Air 737 Max from uh, Reykjavik. Sorry, Keflavik. Uh, rocking the new, brand new scheme that they're rolling out at the moment and I believe the the matter with this scheme is the yellow you're seeing on the tail changes right from aircraft to yeah. aircraft the color of the of the yellow cheers Jen um, yeah so that's the one thing that I do sort of like about these Iceland Air liveries is at least they've added some variation to them so that you you've not sort of seen one and then you've seen them all yeah, um, I quite like that. To be fair, they've kind of that's that's a good thing. We have the Singapore now rolling on the runway as well. Singapore 350. We're going to have to swap to that, aren't we? Yeah, we'll do it. 
Uh, it's one side, it's going to clean shot of this. So I've not got my camera. Okay, it's all you. Let's catch us 350 rolling. Man, I need to get my glasses today. It's uh, The wind's blowing alright, Gail. Yeah, it's not nice. Cold wind. Here we go, brand new. First time we've seen this particular livery on Airliners Live. Yeah. Uh, the yellow scheme. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of another airline, I will say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Liz, another airline Robinson, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's with the tail, the back of the tail there. With the, see how it's got a bit of white on it? The dots? No, or the oh, line. Oh yeah, you see that by the yeah. horizontal stabiliser? Yeah. Huh, that's weird. Because we'll there's a brand new paint. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just a slightly posher Ryanair scheme. Yeah. Yeah, it looks quite smart. If Ryanair had that scheme, <laughs> I think people would like it. <laughs> Morning, Sarah. Nice to see you. 787 Century. Uh, I arrived in time for my countryman to depart. There you go. Nice. ATR on approach. Inbound from the uh, the Isle of Man. It's quite a short flight on that one today. Uh, only left about half an hour ago. Pretty quick for a little little plane. Yeah. I think it was Flyby used to fly this flight mainly. But it's got a Virgin Atlantic A330 on the taxi out as well. Yeah, he's on his way to Orlando. Nice hour. Hope you enjoyed it, mate. And Jamie saying a big shout out to Scott Bradshaw who did his first ever flight to Dublin and um, so proud we love it that much that we're going to Berlin in two weeks. Nice Jamie. Nice. GG. Mike Flynn's a bit of a fan of the Iceland there. Eh? Yeah. I have to say, the new Iceland Air livery is growing on me a little bit. Yeah, it is on me as well. When I first seen it, I was really not impressed. The more I see it, though, yeah. the more I like it. Easy jet from Geneva next in. Uh, about one an hour, one hour, 40 minute flight today. And <laughs> Nismo yelling th freedom in the chat. <laughs> Oh, Jen yeah. loves that film. The uh, what's the film called? Braveheart. Braveheart. Yeah, it's got that one. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not seen that for a long time. I think Jen just likes it because of the lead character in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mel Gibson is it? I think it is. Is it? I don't know. He looks very beardy and very muscular. Yeah. yeah a bit yeah. like me, to be honest. <laughs> Spy laughing at. Paint your face blue, and then you'll uh, you'll be quite the thing. <laughs> <you? laughs> <laughs> Jen, you get that blue felt tip. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got a Jet 275 pinging up somewhere. <coughs> Not happy with uh, Bing and Bong this morning. All right. Theo jumped up on the side, knocked my um, sellotape dispenser off the side. Oh, no. Um, and it scared Harry. Right. So Harry then jumped and knocked his water bowl off at the same time. <laughs> so we had water and smashed up sellotape dispenser all over the kitchen floor wow. about five minutes before I had to leave. So now I need to buy a new sellotape dispenser. I was actually, I actually quite like my sellotape dispenser as well. It broke. Was it not made of plastic or? It made of plastic, but it's got like some weird compound inside ah. to make it heavy. Yeah. Oh, so right. when it hit the floor, it just shattered. Wow. What a nightmare. Naughty boys.
Uh, what have we got here then? It's Hotel Victor. HV. Harry Votter. <laughs> yes. We'll take it. It's an A320 Neo. Hi Viz. Hi Viz, there you go. We Get can't miss that, can you? On the roll. Sonny, good morning, nice to see you on Twitch. And now they're fast asleep again, yeah. They cause chaos and then they go back to sleep. Now Jet 2 is on the way to Fjordventura, so a bit of a mooch for that one. Uh, but next in is the KLM 73 from Amsterdam. Nice and busy. Um, on the way down in the car, I was listening to... Um, Country music. Yeah. Do you see that? Rat boy country I did, I clip. I didn't know. I was, mate, I was busy last night. you gotta, you got to watch it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was listening to the news, and they said that um, in March, Gatwick are looking at reopening their terminal that's been closed since before COVID. Wow. Um, the... And they're expecting, like, a big influx in um, summer travel. So I know. March is looking pretty good. That's the rumours we're hearing coming out of Manchester as well. There's a lot of... Oh, he's loud, isn't he? A lot of the rumours are sort of centralising around March. Yeah. Which is going to be great. It's my birthday month. Yeah, is there you nice go. Influx in traffic, that's what we want, guys. Birthday present. I've heard rumours that Terminal 3 here at Manchester is looking at opening in March, so... Amazing. That's not, what we want to hear. Nothing official, but I've heard it rumoured around a lot. This is Airlines Live saying, Hi, everyone. Hope you all have a great Friday. Uh, got you on whilst I'm working. There we go. That's what you want to do. What have we got lining up here? Because he's not on radar. It's an A321, I believe. I think it was, yeah. But he's not showing up. Quite a few Jet 2s on the ground, actually. Nice. You always get that morning rush all off to the Canaries, don't you? Yeah. Which I personally think it's a little bit late to be going, because you want to go there quite early, don't you? So you've got the full day there. Day, yeah. I think if you left now, you wouldn't get there till, like, half two in the afternoon. Israel tuning in from New York, welcome. T3 for the Qatar A380, there's rumours that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, it's not even on Qatar's website yet, you'd think they'd add it as a, you know... A oh, it's my bad, it's a 7... oh no, it's not a 7.5. Yeah, A320. Is it? No, it's 7.5. Oh, it is a 7.5. There you go. There you go, first three hours sleep, kicking in. <laughs> We had our eyes closed, we would have known. Yeah, all we had to do is listen to that fantastic sound, ladies and gentlemen. VIPs, let's spam that new 757 emote. Let's fill up the chat, let's see it. Come on, guys. Yep, and I believe we've got another one pinging up on the ground. I don't know if it's taxied out yet, I've not been paying attention. It's been pretty busy. I don't think it has taxied out yet, though. Shout out to this biz jet, by the way, that wasn't here when we got here. And as soon as we were about to hit start on the stream, they moved it to there, so thanks for that, guys. There you go, the new 757 emo in the chats. We had to give something for that icon. That's, uh, yeah, really good sound. That's, uh, I think that noise there just proves why it was well worth investing in this sound equipment. <laughs> yes. Because that sounded great in my headphones, never mind on the big TV with like the surround sound. The subwoofer. Yeah. <laughs> give it a bit of wob wob. <laughs> So is there another Jet 2 pinging up? I think someone did mention it. There's a few on the ground at the minute. Is there? Let's have a look. Let's have Qatar a look. have reduced the A3 service to <coughs> the A380 service to London Heathrow to one per day in the coming months, replacing with a 777-300. Ah, okay, it's only. Yeah, a few people were saying that um, there's just not the capacity there for it. We don't know. We're just we're just reading what people are saying. But ladies and gents, can we get a thousand likes before 11 o'clock today? Can we hit a thousand likes before 11 a.m.? There's at least a thousand watching, I think, so <coughs> it's possible, right? Make sure you hit the like button, ladies and gents. Yeah, so there's a Jet 2757, it's Flight 879er. Um, it's Alpha Charlie is the, the reg on this 75. And it's off to Alicante, which is quite unusual, because usually they go off to um, <coughs> the Canaries, the 75s. I wouldn't think... Alicante would be that popular this time of year because probably not that warm down there, right? 
Or is it? I don't know. Tell you what, I was looking at last night. There were a lot. Oh my gosh. Madeira. Madeira. Did you watch that vlog? I watched that vlog. The it's transitions were really, really good, but it just seemed to be like, oh, so we did this, and then we ate. And then yeah. we did this, and then we ate. <laughs> and then we ate a fancy food. And then food. we went out here, and then we ate. Then we ate expensive, it's like more expensive food, yeah. Eating I was in so much food, I was just watching, I was like, I could not even walk after eating all that food. <laughs> so, he did, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the drone shots. But anyway, ladies and gents, there's, um, <clears throat> I was looking at Madeira last night because um, Madeira obviously are known quite well for the airport there. I think it's an extreme approach, isn't it? It it's is, one of the, yeah. One of the it's very on few. the side of the mountain, it's, it's really gusty. Yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of. Right? Yeah, 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 that's the one. So as you're coming in, um, the wind bounces back off that uh, off that big slope there, and it really chucks you about a bit. Yeah. It's pretty difficult. I've flown that approach a few times in the sim. Right. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not, not ideal. Here's our mate, uh, David Tarandine. Uh, let's just keep it PG, please, mate. Here's our pal again, he's come to say hello. Yeah. But yeah, I'm tempted to go down this in the coming months, to be honest. I think we could get some amazing content from there, like... And it's such a beautiful island as well. Wow. Has anyone in the chat ever been to Madeira? Let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Was it was it amazing? Was it okay? Was the food good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, David, we had some younger viewers in here, mate. I just bear that in mind, dude. Virgin on the roll. Uh, Ronaldo's from Madeira, believe it or not. Sound. Three Jet 2s on the taxi out now. We've got the uh, A321 to Lanzarote, um, followed by a 737 to Faro and a 757 to Alicante. So, uh, a, lot, a lot of other destinations today because usually I only ever see Jet 2 fly into the Canary Islands. Today it's like, look at this Faro, Alicante, like what is going on? Yeah. Fry Yay Show, yes, the Edge, welcome. Yeah, cheers, living at large. I don't know if I'll keep doing them. I quite enjoyed it last night, the little face uh, Instagram live that I did on my personal. But uh, I'll see. I had a lot of thoughts I had to put down last night and did it in the form of a live stream. Uh, anyone put anything about uh, Madeira? And the weather in Madeira looks pretty interesting. It's very, very, very tropical, that island. Like, yeah. You know, how you got the uh, the Canary Islands, which are obviously volcanic. Madeira is completely different. It's so green and lush with, like, jungles and mountains. It looks epic. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, restrictions in other countries as well. Um, lowering down, which means we'll probably see more flights to places like Madeira. Sweden is another one, Portugal, um, yeah, hopefully, and obviously here, today is, is actually, ladies and gents, the first day of the, the new restrictions here in the UK for travel, uh, which basically means that um, from today, arriving passengers uh, either need one uh, or of two things, I think, to either be vaccinated and not have to test to arrive into the UK, or... If they're not, they can do some tests, basically, and not have to quarantine, I think, is the, th the main thing. So, all-round easing of restrictions for all people arriving into the UK, in terms of COVID, that is. A321 on the roll. We can see some de-icing fluid on the wings of that 7.5 as well, so obviously yeah. pretty low temperatures today. I thought I'd I seen that. <coughs> so, yeah, hopefully that has a positive effect on aviation here. Andy saying um, 
the increased traffic could have something to do with the schools breaking up for half term today. Are they uh, today? Not Derbyshire though for, for whom I work, he says. Yeah, I, I'm hoping so, mate. I'm really hoping, like, what I'm kind of imagining is going to happen is hopefully this march will kind of kickstart everything yeah. and then everyone will just relax a little bit and, and potentially start booking flights again. I think all we need for aviation is just something to click and give people the confidence to start exactly, travelling yeah. again. I think that's that's literally. It. I mean, the reason the reason things aren't open and, and and stuff is just down to demand, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's confidence. I think is the so main. Yeah, I think confidence is the main thing. Because yeah. obviously been, there is some restrictions, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you wanted to travel now, you probably could. Yeah. <laughs> like if you knew what you were doing, and 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 the thing about travel is like. You have to remember, people have to plan to travel. You don't just... Uh, it's not like with pubs reopening, where it's like, oh, pubs are open, let's all go to the pub. Yeah. Now it's like with travel, it's like, oh, travel's reopened, let's plan a holiday. And then it takes, like, months. And I think what puts people off is they just don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Like, do yeah. I have to do a test? Do I have yeah, to do yeah, a form? Yeah, 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 where yeah. do I find the form? I don't think it's, like, necessarily easy to know. Yeah, like, it's hard. And it, people say, you know what, I can't go. I'll just yeah. wait until... I think what because my dad said this as well. He was he's looking to to go away for a few weeks, and he's like, you know what? I'm just going to wait until all of the restrictions are gone, and then I don't have to think about it. Yeah, but that's the issue, I mean? isn't it? It's like, but how do we know when the restrictions are gone? Is are we take are we talking weeks, months, years? You know, yeah. like I think if you go in with that attitude, you might <laughs> be waiting a while. <laughs> yeah, I know, no. and it's, that's that's the attitude that most people have. I'm afraid, uh, Mark. Jackson, thank you very much for the five pound super chat for an umbrella. He says, I hope we don't need that today, sunshine. <laughs> I hope not. Thank you very much for the five super chat, mate. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Easy jet just touched down and he's uh, he's inbound from Belfast. So again, quite a short flight, only 36 minutes since that one left. But yeah, I think confidence will be natural in terms of like how that is restored. We're still missing a lot of airlines here at Manchester as well. Uh, El Plagiato on Twitch is saying, yes, yeah, you want to go on a holiday, but planning with the unknown for families is just impossible. For families especially, I think, is the worst. Yeah. And it just seems like business travel as well just seems to be completely not really there anymore because everyone's transitioned to, like, Zoom and stuff. So, yeah. Getting people flying again for business is a huge part of, especially the, uh, the bigger airlines like BA and things, you know? Yeah. But yeah, me personally, I think it's confidence is the main thing. I do as well. Lee Davis, member, first class for 24 months. Roll on March hey. for the gold title, he says. James Lee, really appreciate you, dude. I know it's a bit deceptive how he has to wait another month for the gold tail, but it is how it is. Yeah. I uh, So I spoke to the, um, the great guys at our merch supplier. Really, uh, really helpful, actually. Um, recently with us and um, fair play we uh, we let them know that we weren't 100% happy with the caps um, that we'd ordered um, and they've basically said no worries guys um, we'll redo them with a better quality hat nice. um, slightly smaller logo um, and the ones you've got already, just keep them. Um, right. So, um, so yeah, basically, we're we're going to be getting the new hats hopefully very soon, guys. They've also started work on all of the merch orders, the website, and uh, bought the new A380 T-shirt. And um, for everyone who came down to the event as well, we had a fantastic day, oh, guys. That was great. I love that. Uh, Cammy, thanks for your 18 months of business class thing, getting closer to the gold plane. Cheers, Cammy. Really appreciate it. Yep. But yeah, so it was a great event. Um, big shout out to the Aviation Society and the Runway Visitor Park for putting that event on. We, um, I'll be honest, I, I didn't expect our stand to be as sort of booming as it yeah, was. Yeah, especially in the, like the sort of mid of the middle of the morning, maybe like or like eleven rather, and twelve o'clock. It got so busy at our stand. We were serving like four people at oh, once. It was mate. just madness and. And uh, can we give, give a shout out as well to Mrs. Airline is live as yes, well? Yes, I've got some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Jen because I'll be honest, guys. I said to Andy, I said, mate, if I have to do three things at once, I'm going to have a meltdown. Yeah, and, and like, I turned around and 
I'm going to be honest, guys. She's probably going to shout at me when I get home for saying this, but Jen was dreading that day. She doesn't like big sort of meetings yeah. and everything like that. And then I turn around, and she's there, like, doing she was nine great. things at once, yeah. like, selling this, selling that. Like, yeah, you want one of these? Yeah, I catch. Boom, boom, boom. So she was the reason why we could actually stay so organized, and she was... We would have been knackered. We would have been all over the place. It would have been a, a, a comedy show if it was just us two, but yeah, she did a lot, a good job in, like, organizing everything. The presentation was really good on the stand because of her... Um, yeah, and she had like so many ideas, like like even the pre-order forms. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. wouldn't have done those. Yeah, yeah. And without those, we probably wouldn't have sold much pre-order stuff. Yeah. And she's there, she's taking payments, and she's grabbing this. Right, there's a gap there. Let's get someone else. Put yeah, it in the yeah, gap. Yeah. Ten out of ten. So yeah, I love that. That and, was uh, yeah, and, a good day. And even like the stickers, you know, like how she presented the stickers. On, yeah. On she, so she, she, I would have just cut them off and given. So yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. no, no, no. We'll like put them in envelopes ready, and we'll stick them in there. And oh, that's a good like you know the little display things, like the little picture oh, frames yeah, she had. Yeah. Yeah, so, pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, well, there you nice go. one, Jen. Ten appreciate that. Ten for Mrs. Airliners live in the chat. You two get disappearing, I did. <laughs> I can't go in and have a wonder. I don't see what I've got <laughs> um, Wayne, thank you very much for your 22 months of business class. Not much longer. Cheers, Wayne. Easy J320. Yeah, we did. Uh, I mean, you bought a few things, didn't you? Yeah. So, what did I get? I got. Um, you got the plates. I know. Oh, there's a seven five rolling. We'll listen to this guys. I'll tell you what we got. Hey, old Jim Sefton. Nice to see you, mate. Already up. But yeah, so um, I bought, so my granddad, um, when he passed away, he had some plates um, on his wall, some aviation plates, he was like World War II aircraft in like different scenes. Right. And um, when we, when when the brothers were, my dad and his brothers were like empty in his house, they were like, is there anything like you want in particular? I said, well, if you don't mind, I said, I quite like the plates. And um, and yeah, so they give me the plates. And um, I've got them on my wall, and I was just having a quick look around, and um, yeah, doors to manual had some plates, but they were Concorde ones. Right. So I was like, that's awesome. So I, um, yeah, I got one of the Concorde ones over London, and I've put it up uh, with the other plates. It fits in dead nicely, so yeah, I've got that. Um, I got a really rare aviation tag from Manning. Dot called UK, you were oh, on yeah. the stand right next to us. Yeah. Um, only one of 18 released, um, which is amazing. Which one was that? It says the Aer Lingus 757, but it's part of the text that says Boeing 737-200. Yeah, yeah. 757-200, uh, yeah. so basically um, I've got a little bit of that text, and there was only 18 of those released to the public, so it's, it, apparently it's it's worth quite a lot, that one. Um, so yeah, I um, added that to the collection, um, and then they very kindly... Um, Gave me a full yellow Thomas Cook tag Ooh. in return for some of our merch. Yeah. Um, I so love yeah, that Thomas Cook yellow. I think it's really nice. It's smart, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So we've got a, uh, a nice uh, a nice few things from there. I did go and have a look at Heritage Concord again. Um, I didn't buy anything this time, but they've got some awesome stuff on there. They had some, um, some more menus, uh, entertainment. Uh, menu as well, so like saying saying what's available. Yeah. In flight and so, yeah, it's really good. Um, it's a mate's world. Thank you very much for the tier one for three months in advance, mate. Really appreciate that. Wow, we've dropped some gifties on Twitch. We're 129 <laughs> subs now. A lot of gifties have just expired on there. We were over 200 on the last yeah. stream. We did miss the fr uh, the Sunday show. Yeah. Uh, the weather was appalling and it, it was really bad visibility and we were shattered as well so it would have been yeah. an awful show I'll be honest guys we, we probably that week of the show was the busiest week we've had since we went full time yeah, we and, had Dublin um, as well didn't we so we were in Dublin that week so we'd done two shows and then we did the trade show on the Saturday 
and then we checked the weather for Sunday and it was just torrential rain and wind yeah it was. and we said you know what should we just give it a miss yeah, just have you, a rest you know, you know how it is here when it's when it's too rainy and stuff you just can't see across the airfield so yeah and it, we would have been in a not a good mood <laughs> so it would have yeah. been pretty pretty poor I think I think if it would have been dry and thingy then absolutely fine we would have been there but yeah with the heavy rain and wind we just thought you know what we'll give it a, give it a swerve uh, there is a Ryanair 737 that is about to start its taxi uh, flight 8308 uh, to Roklaw in uh, Poland. Vdubs, thanks for the six months of premium economy. Appreciate you, dude. Cheers, Vdubs. So yeah, we we gave Sunday a miss, and you know I I did miss streaming on that day. I was a bit gutted, but like I said, I'd rather just not bother because it was it would have been awful. <laughs> Laurie M, <laughs> let's get some bing bongs in the chat for our. Uh, latest moderator Laurie M with a twenty dollar super chat bing bong says so smash that like button everybody yep if uh, we can hit a thousand likes before eleven guys that'll be fantastic let us know ambitious but I like it thank you Laurie appreciate that definitely possible I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah Kevin very true nonetheless it was very busy for Martin as well because he was uh, prepping the stand and shipping out all the brand new merch and there was a lot going on last week yeah and don't forget during that live show as well I was still doing the live so the feed from Dublin was coming to my office yeah. and then um, I was adding the overlays with the chat and obviously I had my own microphone and I was keeping Andy up to date on what aircraft were on the ground and um, and yeah, it was a uh, an MV broadcast from home. So, and Laurie, how was uh, Dallas these days? Let me know. Jenny Watts with a five pound super chat, Bing Bong says, uh, "Love the stream, guys. Thank you very much." <laughs> Cheers, Jenny. Hey, uh, Mad streaming from Denmark. I miss being over there in the states. One point two k viewers, Roger. Nice. I was in a uh, little yesterday, ladies and gents, getting some oh, shopping. Yeah. And uh, I seen in the middle aisle. Every time I'm in little, I always buy something from that middle aisle. Whether it's some new uh, trousers, whether it's a ukulele, <laughs> <laughs> so whether it's a, a new spanner set or something. I don't know. Uh, and yesterday's purchase was some new boots, and I've got them on now. They're thermal walking boots, and they're really comfy and warm. Nice. I've got them on with thermal socks as well. It's a pretty uh, op combo, to be honest. But yeah. My feet are pretty warm, so that's good. And it's always like your feet and your hands, once they start getting cold, then you just feel really cold. That's awesome. it, you're gone then, yeah. Yeah, it was like a, on Friday, wasn't it, where we were struggling so much to keep warm. Yeah, I was, I don't know what it was about Friday, I don't know. I was talking to Andy when we got back, because um, I'll, I'll be honest, like for the last hour of Friday's show, I was just shivering, I couldn't stop shivering, I don't know what was wrong with me. And um, when I got home, I realised that my jumper on the inside had actually got wet ah. and obviously we had quite a strong um, cold breeze blowing oh, yeah, as well so horrific. what was happening was the I had damp clothes on and the wind was going and my socks and my gloves were soaked um, and when you've been out in it for a while you don't realise that your clothes are wet Yeah. because I didn't think my gloves were wet until I got home and then I realised that, um, that they were so I think that's why I was uh, so cold on Friday but We've uh, we've made changes today. We've got um, yeah a lot of layers on today. It was pretty chilly, wasn't it, on Friday? Jeez. Yeah. Today it's cold still, but it's uh it's not well. I mean, if the de-ice in aircraft, then it must be pretty <laughs> close to uh, zero. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, then boots and ice. Hey, Little's a good shop, you know. Little is a good shop. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I'm I'm quite the money. You know, I, I don't like spending much money myself. I keep. You know, I keep on the cheap usually, but uh, yeah, little is decent, and the, the the bargains you get from that middle aisle is insane. Yeah, they are good, aren't they? I must admit, I like. Uh, I'm a bit of an Aldi fan. I've not um, been to Aldi for so long. The I don't meat know why. Is just ten out of ten from Aldi. You know what it is for me with Aldi? It's always like quite dark in there and quite like. So there's a brand new one. Right. If you come and live near me, I'll take you right. Right. There's there's <laughs> it's up near um you know the flyover on the motorway. Yeah. yeah. With the rugby club. Yeah. It's right next to the rugby club. They just right. open a brand new one. Me and Jenna got one two minutes from our house, you know the one because you used to yeah, walk yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, it's the right next but one. the um instead of going to that one, we drive to the other one. Right. Because it's got a car charging station. Ah. And it's brand new, so the aisles are dead wide, and there's loads of space. I know. It's in like there. there's a there's a disparity in Aldi's, isn't there? Like the newer ones are like really nice and like spacious and yeah. fresh, whereas the old ones always feel a bit too small and 
Oliver fact. Collins, thanks for the five euro super chat, Bing Bong. Appreciate you, you, dude. No message, thank you, mate. But yeah, the um, as well, like little. There's like always loads of space. You have got the bakery section as well. You got like a really op middle aisle, which I always buy something stupid. These boots, by the way, sixteen pounds ninety nine pence. You just can't make and it up, can you? Know, you know, like how much would you pay for these? Usually, like at least like, like at least forty quid. So I was gonna say forty or fifty quid. Yeah. So yeah. Let's have a look on radar. This this Ryanair would, would be taxiing out now. He's getting the A380. He's not too far away either. Nice. Yeah, we'll see that Ryanair. Oh, there it is. E. Uh, yeah. We've also got the. Uh, let's have a look at the 380. Oh wow, it's actually there. So it's almost on approach. It's just going over the moors now. Uh, it's at just over six thousand feet. So the 380 will be touching down in about five minutes' time, ladies and gents. Not long to wait. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. About 15 minutes left before 11. Everyone click the thumbs up, guys. Let's try and hit 1,000 likes before 11 o'clock if we can. And that Ryanair uh, is on the way out. He's uh, going to be heading to uh, Rockland, uh, Poland, operated by Buzz. So, yeah, Polish flight. Yeah. Yeah, Colin, uh, it is a bargain. You do get some proper bargains. I think I got a jumper as well, and I also got some uh, sports pants as well, all like dead cheap, so I was like, you know what? He's just got a full new wardrobe in the middle <laughs> line. <laughs> yeah. He's got a little swag on. But it's always hard to find things that are in your size, isn't it, in there? Because they're just yeah, so everyone, random. everyone like, raids the sizes. Yeah. So I said to Andy, I was like, go get us some of them boots. I know, I wanted to get and you some, but... I, I'm the size nine and a half, and they had like they eight. Had eight or... 12. <laughs> These are size 11 and they fit me fine. It's because I always wear like uh, big chunky socks as well, you know? Yeah. Uh, do you expect Manchester to get busy in the f next few weeks? We hope so, Matt. We hope so. March is kind of the time we're expecting to see the next kind of um, increase in traffic, I would say. Yeah. Today they did reduce the restrictions to entry to the UK, so there might be a small increase this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, March I think will be where it steps up. I think where it t actually takes effect. Yorkshire Rose saying, uh, "Morning guys, great show as always. Morning coffee tasting very good today using the new VIP mug." Hey. Yeah, apparently it does taste ten out of ten out of the new it's VIP bad, mug. That's doesn't it? Yeah. If you do want to get one, ladies and gents, then um, make sure you uh, you go ahead and uh, check their website because we are taking pre-orders for the VIP mugs, ladies and gents. If you're a VIP, check the VIP lounge. There's a post in there with a password you need to use to purchase the products. Uh, it's obviously a VIP-only product. And uh, Kevin with a £5 a super chat, Bing Bong, says, Hey, Martin and Andy, a little donation towards some waterproof clothing. Great stream, as always. Cheers, Kevin D. Appreciate you, Kevin. Thank you very much, mate. Thank Cheers, you very Kevin. much for the support. And Jake as well with a 5 saying... Uh, have merch on two separate orders. Um, wait and bundle in one if you wish. Cheers, Jake. Appreciate that, mate. We'll, uh, well, I should be receiving them all at once, hopefully next week. So, um, so yeah, I need to check. Um, I'm hoping yours, yeah, I'll check when I get home, Jake, and I'll drop you a message because there's two items which are actually delayed for a week because they're out of stock. I'll, uh, I'll check and I'll update customers uh, later on this afternoon. Matt saying that the uh, uh, Spain changed the, the rules on Monday. Is that this coming Monday? I thought they just changed them. Let me know. I might have missed something there, though. Right now, now rolling. No waiting around. Kevin D with a 50 pound oh my gosh. mega bonk. <laughs> Ladies and gents, as apologies guys, I hit the wrong little donation amount. This is what it should have been, says cheers Kevin D. So Kevin. Did he miss a zero off it? Listen, also? we appreciate any support, mate, but thank you very much for the mega bong, ladies and gents. You know what to do. First mega bong of the day. Let's see him in the chat, guys. Show Kevin some love for the uh, very, very generous support to the wow. channel. Thank you, mate. I can see the mods making use of the brand new 380 commands as well, by the way. Nice. Cheers, mods. 
Mm -hmm. It's good to have you all in a chat now as well. There's some really good ideas already flowing. And cheers, Kevin. Really appreciate that. You're a legend. Like we said, that offer to go for a, a coffee or something is uh, still on the table if you want to take us up on that. It's up to you. Uh, so, Emirates Flight 17 from Dubai, the A380-800, is now on short final. You're going to see it soon. Yeah, you can just about see the lights peeping through the clouds there. I uh, also got Air France on the taxi out as well, as well as the British Airways uh, A320 as well. Air Down. France is for Charles de Gaulle. There's a Ryanair following him for Mercia in Spain. Uh, Nibia is obviously a, uh, a London show. Yep. There is the 380 just uh, emerging from the clouds. Ladies and gents, hit that like button now would be a good time to do so. Yep. Exclamation mark HD in the chat guys if you're struggling with your quality today exclamation mark hd ba on the roll we're gonna get the b out ba out first are they the a380 is next in ladies and gents smash that like button for the a380 please support the channel There you go guys, there's a response from Nightbot if you are struggling with your picture, that is how to fix it. 380 next in, enjoy this arrival guys. Not sure if we'll get too much spray today, I don't think there's much moisture on the runway, but uh, that'll be good. Here. Here he is, the king of the skies. Get hold of your king merchandise at shop.airlinerslive.com. <laughs> yes. I'm so hyped to get that. As the weather is eventually getting warmer, soon it'll be t-shirt weather. Mate, I cannot wait till we're still doing t-shirt and short. I can't, it just sounds hard to remember what it was like, you know? Yeah. Because the winters here, they just seem to last so long. Hello Manchester, how are you? Nice to see you tuning in, thanks for tuning in. Nice Welcome. to see you tuning in, thanks for tuning in. There you go, you got two. Tony P Gamer with a tier one for three months on a three month streak. Cheers Tony, thank you mate. Never gets old. Seeing that kicking up all that reverse of that. Crazy how it managed to find so much spray on that runway as well. Yeah, I must admit, I didn't think there was that much moisture on the runway. <laughs> managed to find it, didn't it? Yeah, certainly did. All the other aircraft have been pretty pretty dry. There you go, the king of the skies arriving here at Manchester. One point six thousand people watching and six hundred likes. Let's smash that like button, ladies and gents. Let's see it go up. Let's try and get it to one thousand likes, shall we? <coughs> I work in Cheadle Hume and I heard that reverse thrust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's just gonna lose sight of it slightly. Looks like there's a school visit to the mound as well, guys, so it may get a little bit loud for the next They're few little, minutes. A little bit late, aren't they, for the three eighty? It's Paul D, by the way. Paul Davies. Jen says, then it'll be too hot and you'll be suffering from heat stroke. Yeah, uh, absolutely Probably. not. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, is it? 
That ain't how it works. I'd rather have heat stroke than hypothermia. Put it that way. Yeah. Put it that way. <laughs> Ladies and gents, Tony P Gamer gifting five subs to the Twitch community. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Tony, guys. One of our most regular gifters on the channel. And uh, he's just dropped another five, ladies and gents. Thank you, mate. It seems like a lot of our gifties have dropped off. <laughs> um, so we really do appreciate the support, dude. Thank you very much. Almost a 700 likes already. That was a quick jump from 600. You got four minutes, guys. Can we hit 1,000 in the next four minutes? That is ambitious. Let's do it. Come on, ladies and gents. Everyone click the like button. A thousand likes before 11 o'clock is our goal today. Hey, there's a familiar name in the chat. Who's that? Camil W. Is that Mr. Camil yeah, W? Yeah, I think it is. Is, is it? Yeah. Yo! Hey, Waluski. Morning, dude. All right, Jen. I mean, that sounds like... A nice problem to have. What a great looking aircraft saying Chris, yes. Listen, it never gets old seeing the 380 here at Manchester. Because look at the view that you get. How are you doing Camille? Hope you are, mate. Hey Camille, this is a bit better than sound base, isn't it? <laughs> Mission thing with a 38 pound donation for the 380 on display. Thank you very much Vision Thing for the support. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Vision. You alright? We'll get you set up, stand by. Alright ladies and gents, yeah. our guest on the show today has arrived. arrived. Oh, so I'm going to get him set up, stand by, hold on. Ooh. Right, squeeze you in here. Very well, very well. Let's see. Uh, Our special guest has arrived for today. <coughs> Red carpet was down and all that. <laughs> yeah, I think he got <coughs> VIP parking as well, he said. Yeah. <laughs> right on the mound. You just walked through the, the Premier Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that biz jet before, that was, that was Paul's. That was Paul's. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Vision Thing, for the donation, though. Appreciate yeah, that. that was fun. You're not going to hear Always us, I don't think, so awesome you're going to have to have one ear seeing off. Seeing the, uh, the 380 here in Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for the king of the skies? Oh, hey. There he is. There you go. He's hey. in hey. straight away. Let's get him balanced up with us. There we go. You should be... Check one, two. Is there he is. There we are. Cracking. Yeah, Easy me. peasy. Squeezy lemons. <laughs> Squeezy lemons. I tell you what, that was good timing. It was, it was good timing, yeah. Oh, right. Just, uh, there we go. Pulled in the old car park and there it was. Yeah. Do you want to stand up? Go on there. Where do you want to go? You, if you can get up. You're getting up, are you? Oh, you can use the bin as well as like no. a, right. a support. Right. Hey. You go up and down nine times, ready for your training <laughs> later. <laughs> there Hello. we go. How are we doing? Fine. Good. I must admit though, I nearly didn't get here. Did you not? No. I had a proper final destination moment on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so who is this? This is Paul Davies. Mr. Bing Bong Paul Davies has yeah. joined us today on the live oh, there's show. There's bit, of, bit of a one-off special. Mark. There you go, you see that chat there, yeah. sunshine. No, I was uh, driving down the M62 and, um, yeah, nearly died. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like us every morning. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> now, I actually saw a wheel coming towards me. You're joking. No. What, just bouncing no. down the runway? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. I thought, well, 
Did you dodge it or did you just I've got stay? The actions of a cat. All oh, right, I thought you just went. You stayed in the lane and just hoped it <laughs> swerved you. I had something like that once. Me and Mrs. Airlines Live were driving down the M602, and there was a, a lorry in front with um, those big wooden planks on. Mm. And one of them just slid off the back. Right. And it slid Ooh. off, and it landed like this, and it kicked up like that, right in the air. Right. All right, whoosh, all right straight out the way. And um, and yeah, the guy just carried on driving. He didn't even realise. Who's uh, who's talking? Oh, Laurie. Oh, hello. Um, Matt. Let me. Have you got your phone? Kevin. Uh, I have. I've got it on me. Yeah. Go on. Give us your phone. I'll get you this page so you can see it. It'd be well, I'm easy. a mod now as well. There you go. I don't know what. The, oh, I need to unlock it, don't I? Yep. So is your face. Oh, there. Out of down. What am I going on? Uh, no. Oh, you can go on YouTube if you want. Yeah, I can give you this chat page if you want as I well. I mean, you can see oh, right. easiest. So what do you need for that? Uh, website, internet. Oh, Gives a second spot. All right. I had them tabs before I go on there. <laughs> 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 you see, you're exactly ahead of me there. Yeah. There we go, right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's go. It's a Ryanair 737. Kicking up some spray again. So what have I missed anyway? All the 757s. Yeah, all the 75s. Yeah. It was just endless 75s. Did, did you get them? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Charlie yeah. in November, I think, wasn't it? There was two yeah. or three yeah, out, yeah, I yeah. think we've seen this morning. There Away. you uh, clear as that. Oh, we're rocking now. There you we're go, you see everything now. It's actually Twitch chat above that old clear in a minute. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be a YouTube chat. Right, how much room have you got? Let's be, put someone's this. just said be the true me today. I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest. We've been briefed, or Paul's been briefed rather. Yeah, he has. It'll be the PG-13 <laughs> Paul today. So yeah. it's not the VIP lounge this no, Paul, no, no, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, it's nice to see you dude, hope you're doing well mate. So Ryan Air UK aircraft this. And it's got the uh, the yellow stripe on the winglet as well. There you go, you can read your first bing bong out, Sunshine. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yeah, oh, it's that. Uh, Phil Sellers. Loving the VIP with the Mrs. Good Day guys. Oh, shoot. This is what? It's a little bit in the what? The RVP. There you go. Loving the RVP. With the Mrs. Good Day guys. There you go. Nice one, Phil. If you're here, come and say hello after the show, mate. Yeah, yeah the sun's out. Looking around frantically. <laughs> yeah. Cup of time. Nice one, dude. Have a good, uh, have a good brew. Have one on us. Yeah, it's, um, the sun's coming out this end. I'm not quite sure about that end, but hopefully we're in the right end. Yeah, let's let's keep it this way, shall we? So what in terms of the uh, the big three? Are we, we've had the So we've had the A380, A380 and so far, that's it. Cool. So nothing cool. else has arrived yet. Are two is still flying there, seven, five, sevens? I don't believe they are. King Henry the eighth. If they are, we've not seen any for a long yeah, time. Two e seven five sevens. You asking? Yeah, they're yeah. all retired. I yeah, think. they are retired, aren't they? Yeah. They went in November. Or yeah. Was it Ooh, one what? Yeah, one of them. We did catch got some bing bongs in the chat for Revkev with a ten pound super chat. Saying cheers, guys, from a snowy Michigan. It's a fry, yay, it certainly is. Thank you very much, mate, supporting the channel today with a £10 super chat. Bing bong. Thank God it's fry, yay. Actually, speaking of that phrase, I was speaking to Matt last night, and I said, as a merch idea, what we should do is, uh, uh, first of all, I think Matt suggested this, a mug that says, I wish it was fry, yay. So you can have that in the week, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I said a pint glass saying, thank God it's fry, yay. Well, there you go. So, you know, like you can have the mug in the week, hoping, you know, for the weekend when you watch Airliners Live, I think of the pint glass is a, is a great idea. And that would yeah. go really nice with the coaster idea that we had Ooh, while yeah. we were there as well. Yeah. Oh, my God, the whole set. Yeah. Because we've already got mugs, to be fair. So I think we've, we've had enough mugs. Yeah. But a pint glass. That'd be 10 out of 10, yeah. wouldn't it? Have your westerns in it, you know? I've got there, Paul. We've got another one. My looks a bit sunshine. We have, we have, we have. Living it large. Good life. That's a familiar name. That is a familiar name. Yeah. Great guy. 899 here. You go, guys, showing the love and support. Loved seeing you last weekend. Nice one. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Wong's in the chat. It's great hanging out with you, dude. Appreciate it and appreciate the support on the channel. All as well. the VIPs coming down on the weekend. It was a good show. Really good show. Have we got the, uh, the new emojis? The so we've got a 757 emoji yes. in today. Um, Wasn't my idea. I think we are <laughs> 24 members away for unlocking some more ladies yeah, and gents if you're not a vip now. of the channel and you want to support us um help us unlock some more emotes by clicking the dollar symbol and clicking join um if you do that and um, 24 of you do that we will get access to some more emote slots which is a uh, quite a big achievement on the channel we've got some more ideas we may have to start replacing some if uh, 
if we can't very soon just so that we can uh, change things up a little bit I think we've got an A380 one we want to do haven't we loving that hat that is a 10 out of 10 hat isn't it yeah. <laughs> not one of them it reminds me of um, what's that guy Roadrunner <laughs> <laughs> yeah. remember him there's yeah. the coyote <laughs> <laughs> meet me right in there 7-3 <laughs> on the roll <laughs> 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 G might be on the way in. Cheers, Matthew. Thank you, mate. 787 incoming. Very nice. We have a dreamy incoming, apparently, chaps. Keep an eye on for him. So My good friend Cassie's in the chat. Hope you're well, dude. Uh, say hello, hello. Hoping you're both well. So today we got actually myself and Martin are here, as usual. And then we got uh, Paul as well, who's a, a bonus guest today. He's one of our moderators. And uh, he's as made a yesterday. Trip. As of, As of yesterday, yeah, yesterday. but you've there been you around go. since. I think we have offered you mod before. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you've always, always been involved in like the behind the scenes anyway, and you know, obviously giving feedback, and obviously in the VIP community as well. Everyone knows who you are, I'm sure. Well, uh, I was working it out actually. I think I've been around about four years. Four years? Yeah, so four years. literally, oh, that's nearly like, right at the beginning. I mean, we were late 2017. Yeah. So although I'm saying we're in our fifth year. Um, are we in our fifth year? This will be our fifth year. This then, will be yeah. our fifth year yeah. then, won't it? Yeah. yeah, it was it was you and Charlie, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. back in the back in the olden days, yeah. John at Bowden, ladies and gents, wow, with a huge VIP sign up crew seat. Thank you very much, John. Mm. Really appreciate that massive VIP support, dude. Getting himself a crew seat membership. Cheers, John. Appreciate it. Has anyone any the, dials in there? Has anyone in the chat been around for for a few years? I mean, I've seen a couple of names who have been around for a while. Obviously, Matt is in the chat right now. He's quite a, an OG. Lee yeah. Davies as well. He's he's been around. Yeah, we've uh, got a lot of long-term members. I think that's testament to the community as well, guys. Um, I think everyone kind of keeps things rolling and keeps everything going. Well, it just goes to show four years, and here I am, stood here with you two. <laughs> <laughs> you. There you go. Anything can happen. Anything, Anything can happen. Can happen. And uh, there's an Abu Dhabi Etihad Airways on the way in Dreamliner-10. Uh, left about seven hours ago, um, and that aircraft is only two years old. Uh, so Bravo Mike Golf on the reg. Awesome. The infamous Paul Davis. I don't know where I get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This reputation. <laughs> you just attract these uh, these yeah. reputations. There. So you've got training, haven't you, after this, you said? I have. Yeah, so I'm you're definitely not going to the cafe and having chips? No. Oh. Just in case my uh, You know that's part and parcel of doing the show is you have to have chips <laughs> no, after. Just in case the trainer's actually watching. <laughs> no. I'm not going for uh, RVP chips. There you go. Honestly. Missing out? Definitely not. They're not already here on the be bench. Here. <laughs> Scandi in the new livery on oh, the new Oh, it's uh, Neo, isn't it? Mm. Looks beautiful. Yeah, it's, oh, no. I see 21. Never mind. False alarm. <laughs> What's your favourite plane that you wish was still in the sky? It's got to be Concorde. I was going to say, like, it has to be Concorde without a Concorde, shred of a doubt. I remember coming here as a kid and there used to be um, Tri-Stars. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That would be another that. one. Yeah. yeah. I must admit, like, I think there's a few things looking at the TAS Facebook page. Back in the day, like, 747s were so popular at Manchester. Yeah. There's loads of them. Quantas I think it was Quantas, yeah, uh, yeah. We used to have a used lot of be. cargo. Yeah. Talking Ca of cafe, cargo, cafe actually, as well, I saw a, um, a post that that cargo centre down there is being bought by somebody, I think. I heard about that, yeah. And what was that? You talking about the Thomas Cook hangar, or? I think it might be... It's a hangar down there that I know is something to do with and um, I'm sure it's getting cargo. Developed. Yeah, it's getting developed into a cargo centre, yeah. yeah. So I wonder what that's going to... I wonder whether that's just going to facilitate the current flights that we're getting, or whether we're going to see... Because mm. I think Manchester's kind of stepped away from cargo a little bit. Yeah, we don't um, see any, do we, anymore? Our Jenny's saying it's looking a bit murky. It is, Jen. Yeah. And let me tell you, it's chilly. It's yeah. a bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah, it's dropped it's got about 19 it. layers on today. Look like Michelin man. <laughs> <laughs> the Vulcan says Jim. Yeah, so me and Jen, oh. were, um, we used to live in Salford Keys. And um, we were lucky enough to have a, a flat with a, with a balcony um, overlooking the Keys. And on the last flight, I think, that the Vulcan did, it flew from... Um, I've got to do this, oh God. if you don't mind. This is my, my dear old pal from school, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Mark Wilding, £5. Gives a shout Paul Davis. Well, there you go. There you Hello, go. Got some bing-bongs in the chat for Mark. 
Hey up, pal. Well, we used to, so I think I'm not sure if it was the final flight, right. but the Vulcan came over and did a circuit around Barton, right. and then it flew <laughs> down and came over Manchester Airport. So on its thing out of Barton, it flew right past Media City. Wow! And I had me um, me little camera out and I videoed <laughs> it going past. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. It was definitely towards the end of its. Uh, Can you imagine if you were streaming back then? You could have just set it up on your balcony and. Yeah, I think Jen will remember that as well. It was pretty crazy because we were looking for it. What an experience that is! And um, Daiku Cutter with the tier one for two months on a streak, saying best plane spotting stream. Thanks a lot. Cheers, dude. Really appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Fairly early for that. It is for a jet too, isn't it? Oh, Iceland Air, well, we got Iceland Air once. We did, we got the new Iceland Air oh. in earlier on, so we'll see that going out most probably. I think it's fair to say that that whole the whole livery uh, thing with that is um, it's been probably the hottest debate. Yeah, it has been a bit, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? And we were talking <laughs> about this earlier on. I'd say the one thing that I do like about it is you've got different colour tails, so it gives the plane spot as something to catch so if, yeah. not, if you've seen the purple one but you need the yellow one i quite like that that they've got a, a variations um but i know what you mean it is it is quite a downgrade in terms of specials but you never know what they're going to do with the specials they might do yeah. some more specials on I mean, the seven, really. if they could keep the heckler aurora one that'd yeah. be nice we've got a lot of movements going on right now we've got a uh, this Etihad Dreamliner on short final. We've also got an Airlingus 330, and there's a Tui Dreamliner that's been pushed back as well. So it's all going to pop, gonna off, pop off. Ladies and gents, Amy Doyle with the six months of premium economy, proud to be part of the Airliners Live community. Bing oh. Bong, cheers, Amy. Husband's popped up. Oh yeah, here he is. Yeah, here he is, Mr. Bing Bong. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be gentle with him. They've been very, very lovely. Don't Thank you, mate. Really appreciate the support. Kevin saying Lufthansa are going to be using Manchester Airport with, uh, for freight with the new A321 uh, P2Fs, so they're, they're the freight, the freight cool. variants. That would be cool. I guess it's going to be a late night thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you know, it's like the FedEx 75s, isn't it? Like, mm. you know, be good for Project 10, though. Mm, yeah, I'd love to see them 75s uh, moving around the, the cargo ones here at Manchester. Yeah, it's just a FedEx always. There's one every night here, isn't it? Yeah, pretty FedEx, much every night. Yeah, yeah. Um, operate out, is, it, yeah. is it something like it's? Uh, does it come in at six o'clock in the morning and then it's, leaves it's at about nine a, at night? Yeah, it's definitely a wonky yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, it's certainly sort of off the radar. There we go. Dreamliner just touching down, guys. Second of the Middle East to turn up today. We got your present, Paul. Oh, oh! You are the very first. Oh, mate! The very first of the new cap sunshine. That's bloody lovely! Thank you very there much. There you go. Keep yeah, enjoy it. We're kind of going out of the season for those now. No, but they, um, we we ordered our caps and they sent one of those to kind of show off. Do you want one of these as well? Thank you very much. And no, uh, there you go. Enjoy yeah. it. It'll be nice and warm for you. I think we might have to put this. <laughs> I was going to say you get that on if you want. Yeah, we I always didn't realise that. It's a dash ten, isn't it? It is. It's a dash ten. Yeah. 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 I think long. they look a lot better than the dash eights, personally. Yeah, they're a bit stumpy the eights, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty chilly here. When you're standing here for a few hours, it is. Uh, you need something to cover your head for sure. I'm sure someone mentioned in the chat about seven five coming in, but I can't see one. In there. Who knows? Probably winding you. It's up. usually only. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's only uh, the only seven fives you see really are Jet Two and Iceland Air. So, obviously, Iceland Air today have flown the Max. Yeah. Um, and if we did see another seven five, it'd probably be Jet Two. Yeah. So. There's an Air Lingus on the taxi out for Bridgetown. So we'll be seeing that A three thirty blast off very shortly. A lot pinging up on the ground. I must admit, the Lufthansa uh, outbound to Munich, which we saw before. Turkish Airlines for Istanbul, 21 Neo. Nice. And uh, a Dash 8 Dreamliner as well from two years also. Oh, there we go. There's the stumpy Dreamliner. We can have a look at that one. So yeah, all sorts going on, ladies and gents. Nice to see. It's crazy how it was just like quite quiet before and now it's just like everything at once, you know? Yeah. Just how it is at Manchester these days. Andrew Holworth. 
crew seat for 17 months. Says uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of the community. Here's some many more epic streams, fantastic presenters, and not forgetting the mods. Thank you very much, Andrew. Perfect. Let's get some bing bongs in the chat for Andrew there, guys. Yes, here is the nice long 787-10 Dreamliner. And probably one of the best tail designs in aviation. Yeah. The the Etihad's. We'll have a nice look close up at the, uh, the tail in a moment. That guy's hat is epic. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> oh yeah. A few people have clocked uh, have clocked that hat now. Jet two A three twenty one rotating just behind. We'll stick with the Etihad. I wonder if the bits on the top help with warmth. They, pro they probably do, yeah, in some way. Yeah. They'll definitely like stop the wind. It's extra you know. surface area, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go, go. Tracy Sellers, ladies and gents. More support coming in today. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate that. There you go, Paul, over to you. If you tap that, yeah. then it pops up. Oh, lovely. There you go. Sorry. So if you're scrolling and yeah, finding yeah. and no, all I'm that good still, stuff. I'm still, really <laughs> still getting there. So have you done that one? Sorry. I have not, yeah. You've not done that one? Okay, all right. Uh, so from Tracy, uh, this is, uh, hi guys, love, loving being in Manchester. Can appreciate now how cold you get. Believe me, it's cold. It is. It is cold. It is. Uh, get some hot drinks. <laughs> Cheers. That's Tracy with £10. Thank you very much. Cheers, Tracy. Appreciate you. Thank you, Tracy. I didn't know you could do that. That's fab. Quite good, isn't it? Yeah. All sorts of little tricks. i tell you what, the one aircraft I've missed, actually during lockdown this is the, uh, is the A330 yeah. yeah and it's so glad to see so many oh, of them back. yeah it's it's an underrated plane I think it I is for plane spotters it's nice and loud it's loud it's big I had it. Jet 2s a couple of years ago and uh, one of the air uh, tanker oh, oh the yeah. air tanker yeah. oh lovely it isn't the rumours that they're coming back this year I've heard a, I've heard a few I've people heard the opposite one. I've heard that they're not leasing them right I, I, I've, heard they, I've heard they are Okay, well, yeah. I'll have you a fight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 do, you want, do you want to place a bet right now? Bet, bet you a fiver. I mean, it wouldn't make if if we're busy enough. Then obviously you would expect them to need them. Exactly. Um, yeah. They have the A three twenty ones now, but obviously they had the seven fives as well. So the seven seven fives apparently they've got programmed. Nice. Nice. Uh, living at large yeah. sounds good, mate. Thank you, mate. But yeah, the air tankers were something else in size, weren't they? They were. Yeah. Well, it was were great huge. because me and Paul went to Lanzarote on one, and it was actually in, it, we were sat towards the back, right? And there were actually empty seats. Oh, oh it was, nice! It was lovely. It was just we could just proper spread out. And I've yeah, heard, yeah. I've heard they're not very comfy, them though. The, the three, you know, the air tanker three thirties. I've heard that as well. Yeah. Who was it who said that they were on it? it? Was I think Matt. It, I think Matt. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know where he flew to. Maybe Turkey. Maybe with them. 330s are awesome though, and Well, Lee Davis has just said, yeah, two, two A330s being leased. Oh, good. By Jet 2 for this one. And four A321s, I believe. So nice. Heard. Mm. Nice. So we'll uh, Good see to see happens. some confidence. Yeah. In that. Eccleston Angel, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Bing Bong says, hey, boys, uh, three more months to go until I'll be there. Can't wait. I'll be arriving early. Um, thank you very much, Eccleston. Hope you have a great trip as well. Really appreciate the uh, £5 super chat. $5 super chat, sorry. And um, if you're feeling cold, get a delivery. <laughs> yeah. We've never done that. <laughs> hey, I'm Rich. Hope you're doing well, mate. There's not many restaurants around here, is there? No. But, uh... Noisy. Right now, kicking up spray again. That's a shot. It is, isn't it? Love to see yeah. that. Loads of spray. 12% battery check. Yeah. Battery check. Them 7.3s, because the engines are so low, they just scoop up all the liquids on the runway, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Full reverse to get off. Yeah. Just in time. For a head-on shot, we we'll run out. Yeah, they do. So they've got the A321s on order, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take 
to start to receive those. I think it's over the next um, five years or something. I was it? told next year they start receiving them. Yeah. They start receiving them next year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. By a certain source. Sue's just popped up. Sue Lawson, who's, who I know like yeah. Lanzarote. Oh, yeah. Very, very much. Uh, she yeah. said, I'll fly anything if it gets me to Lanzarote. Quite agree. Yeah. There you go. Quite agree. There you go. We met Sue Lawson at the event on Saturday. It's lovely. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Sue and John. Yeah. Now here's another big gifter in the chat, it's Cap, and welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you're doing well, nice to see you, mate. Yeah, it was lovely meeting you, Sue. Hopefully not for the uh, last time. And uh, rocking the uh, Queen of the Skies blue hoodie as well, which I'm, I'm wearing right now, actually. It's keeping me nice and toasty. In the same colour as well. I don't think I've got any Airliners Live merch on uh, today, I apologise. Oh, no. What a letdown, eh? Mm. It's just like routine for me, isn't it? Just like make sure I've got at least one hoodie. I've got a big collection of them. I've got the Neo. I've got the 747 in black and blue. I've got the uh, the Retro in a Storm Grey, which I think is a really nice colour. Which yeah, is a bit is. of a greeny grey, isn't it? I've pinched Jen's Retro hoodie. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, son. She's been, looking, she's been looking for it. In it. There it is. <laughs> she checked it yesterday. She's checking the size. She's like, that's mine, that. <laughs> no, I know you're not meant to use a brand new hat as a glove, but... Um, oh, there you that's, go. That's, that's it's right, working. Nice, you having it? Like I think that. I have some gloves in the car. I was going to say, I think I've got some somewhere. Where yeah. I used to have the little um, the ones with the lines on, by the way, where they went. Um, I've got waterproof ones in the car, though, which are pretty So are you going tasty. to Lanzarote this year? I really want to go at the end of uh, next month, I think. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're thinking the same. We've, we've, uh, we've got plans. I think they're in the in the car as well. well. Sorry, I Paul. I turn 21 plus 21 next month. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Double 21. I think, um, I think I might have to. It's great Lanzarote. It's like, it's it's like the vibe there is just like, it's quite hard to explain what it's like there until you go. It's very chill. It's very chill, yeah. Very it's chill. a lovely vibe. I like the little things. I mean, it's um, when the, when the building they don't build hotels above. I think it's three stories, four stories high, oh. uh, like a maximum that they've got. Right. Yeah. And it just keeps everything. Okay. Nice. So you've oh, not got okay. any sort of big high rises and monstrous carbuncles on your way or anything. What is like this bitch, so by the way? Very Quite small, nice. whatever it is, isn't it? So the outside, of the, the pods are actually the fuel tanks, I think, on the uh, tips of the wings. Interesting, eh? Is that two lovelies with that? Now, now, isn't yeah, it? so yeah, there was a the Frankfurt and Berlin, I believe. It's a Learjet 35A, this. Thanks for all the support coming through today, guys. Really do appreciate it. See if there's any info on this guy. Yeah, it just says Learjet 34A. I don't know where it's from. Yeah, no info is there. Nope. There's a lot of aircraft um, moving on the ground at the moment. I'll be fair, they're getting clearance on 330. Yeah, he's on the roll. He's on the roll. Nice. Look at that 32 seems. degrees C here in Manila, says United Computers. Are you jealous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, look at that smart, that little lid, isn't it? I love it. Little yeet mobile. It's like something out of Star Wars, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> the size difference in the two. Apparently that Learjet looks like it came from Iceland, uh, they're saying in the chat. Really? Look at it, it's like, it looks so cool. Here's a smart aircraft that, isn't it? I love it. Departed from Keflavik. Cheers, uh, Altamarka, appreciate you mate, on Twitch. Medical Air Transport. Oh, is that Mike, what that is? Uh, oh, Mike's all over that A330 departure there saying Oh, uh, yeah. Off to Bridgetown. Uh, yeah. say 330 302, 12 years of age. A couple of people I know are in Bridgetown at the moment. It's just like a very popular place to be well, these days. Fly, said, don't they? Yeah. There's a lot of airlines that fly there from here. we got TUI, we got Virgin, and we've also got uh, Aer Lingus now. So, yeah. If you want to go to Bridgetown, there's a lot of competition out there, I guess. Mm. 
does look like a nice place though. It's in Jamaica, isn't it? Uh, Barbados. Barbados. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. My mum's in Jamaica at the minute. She keeps sending me pictures. Not very happy with it. <laughs> My mum's in Tenerife at the moment. She keeps sending me pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tap Air Portugal, I assume, uh, in from Lisbon. Yeah, lovely colours on this Embraer. Yeah. 190 LR. We're going to switch a battery in a couple of minutes, ladies and gents. So we'll probably catch a few more movements before we do that. How are we doing on the likes, mods? Let us know in the chat. And uh, Peter Taylor tuning in from Australia. Nice to see you, mate. Good uh, evening, or good day, I guess they say. United Computer saying, great video, folks. Love reading your comments. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the show. Welcome to the community as well. Yeah, we try and do our best with uh, video quality. Hey, we ain't no Lanzarote 24 hour live, <laughs> can <laughs> <are> we? <laughs> <laughs> That's good though, that isn't it? It's it's good it's fun uh, to watch. I, I heard, I think it was Siwi was saying, because I did see that they, they changed the position of it a few years ago. It used to be really close to the airport. And um, they had to change it for security reasons, you know, because you're not really allowed mm. to have webcams just overlooking an airport. So that's why it's so far away these days. Also, the Tui Dreamliner Dash 8 on the taxi out. So there's this Ryanair 73 on the roll. Yeah, Dash 8 is, uh, is on its way to. Uh, Ponta Cana, a flight of uh, 4,218 miles. Wow, ouch. Bit of a mooch that, isn't it? Yeah. That's the kind of flight you want to be on a Dreamliner for. Definitely. Yeah. It's Ponta Cana's uh, Dominican Republic. Have got that one? Around that area. Yeah, yeah, it's in that. In that. No, we did, we did that on a 767. Oh, no worries. Um, for my sister-in-law's wedding. Oh, yeah. I think it was about 8 hours 34. Wow. Number seven six, and it was uh, yeah. You were. Ooh, that's, that's what she's sending me that's constantly. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's like nice one. <laughs> no, that's a bit. Hope having a good seven o'clock in the morning. It's like oh look, that's a good start to the day. I'm like, <laughs> as me just just peeling my head off the pillow. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> in Eccles. Another Ryan Edge touchdown as well. It's all going on. It's really busy at the moment. Feels nice and busy. This is a good. This is a good show today. Yeah, last Friday it was quite quiet, wasn't it? No really? worries, Peter. Thank you for tuning in, dude. Really appreciate it. And um, not long to wait, ladies and gents. I would probably say a matter of weeks rather than months before we announce Project V, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, days. it's all been signed for, it's all been... Yeah, contracts were signed uh, yesterday and final payment was sent yesterday as well. It's a oh, big it involves money. So it involves is, money. It does. It involves a lot of time, it involves a lot of people involved that are not here in Airlines Live, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's yeah. going to be big, ladies and gents. It, it's, it's probably the biggest announcement of the channel's history, ladies and gents, yeah. is uh, Project V. And uh, we will be announcing that in the next two or three weeks. Got away from the captain there, on board the Ryanair 737. Now, Mr. Paul Davies, I can't mute your microphone. Okay. But can you contain your excitement and not say a word, do you think? <laughs> I mean, it depends what it is. Well, here, here yeah. we go. I'm well, going to. Ex the expression of excitement might be. A, I'm going to show him thing. the title of that chat. Oh, right. There you go. Okay. Quite a big announcement, that, isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> big. Yeah. This is how I can't say. Look at him. He can't say. <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's smiling his head off. He's this like, is how no me and have felt for the last few months. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just glad we've been able to tell somebody. That's my, my lips are sealed. You, I think the only people who know are the moder... Uh, no, not even the moderators. Yeah. I think the only people who know are Matt and We'll need to brief the, all the mods soon about that. Yeah, mods. Um, I'll probably brief you in the next week or so. Yeah. Whisper it to us. No, Paul will not be sending any direct messages to anybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of that. Project right, Vision. And what do you think Project Vision would in include, right, Kevin? I'm going to grab a battery. Roger, Roger. 
project vision thingies. <laughs> yes, uh, Project V is going to be the biggest announcement of the channel's history, Lupe, guys. Lupe, I know nothing. You know nothing. He certainly does not. I do, Loopy. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a hint as to what it is? Yes, it's called Project V. That's your hint. That's right. your hint. I'm going to change the battery now, ladies and gents. There's a lot of aircraft lining up. I think it's an easy jet on short flying, so we're going to miss <laughs> that touching down. I'll give you a fiver, Paul. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that secret's got to be worth a bit more than a fiver. Yeah. Oh, Gonna have fiver. to put a few zeros on that, maybe. Stand by for a battery change, guys. We will be straight back. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Bit of a slow one, that. We're back. We're back. Back in the room. Yes, we have there. Uh, good morning from Detroit. Hope you're all having a great day. That's from uh, Brian Bruce. Cheers, Brian. Member for four months. Jump seat member for four months. Legend. Thank good you, Brian. Good morning to you. Good morning. Early morning over there, right? Very. R really <laughs> early. Like, they must be at least, what, six hours, I guess? Maybe five? Blob saying that's inbound from Venice. Nice. Oh, yo, what a place Venice is. I've never been. You've never been? Oh. Yeah. It's quite a tourist uh, trap, you know? It's like very touristy, but it's still very beautiful. Like, weather's great and all that. Um, Kevin's saying, I'll take a guess. Um, it's something to do with the new tower at the RVP being built. Combo between Tat and Airliners Live. Uh -huh. um, no, that is not <laughs> correct. However, um, that is something Sadly. we are involved in, but uh, that isn't uh, that isn't this announcement that we're talking about. The guys are buying a Dickers Vanguard. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, oh, you found out, guys. Busted. Oh well. Yeah. Tell them, Paul. <laughs> v for van. No, we haven't bought a van. You don't need a van here. This is the view you get without a van. Our lorry in the chat saying it's 5.30 a.m. Wow. Well, uh, that's in Detroit. Good grief. And just yeah. as uh, Aaron Beyond Twitch tunes in from Columbus, Ohio, and it's 6.30 a.m. there. Five hours behind. Right, okay. Uh, Kay Buff tuning in from Buffalo. Nice to see you, mate. And uh, Adrian from... Uh, is that Con... Conac? Cognac? I don't know where that Cognac. is. <laughs> Cognac? Cognac? Wait, that's a place, isn't it? Yeah, because... RBG from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Welcome, US audience just starting to wake up and join us. Yes. Jeff in from Boston, Brian Bruce saying it's 6.32. V for VIP airside. Malk, that is not <laughs> correct. <laughs> VIP airside. Uh, They're getting a new video camera. Either that or a wet and dry vax for the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's not that one. Some that very creative about. guesses, I will say. I'll give you that. I'm actually quite liking that no one's guessing it as well. So that's it's going to be a really good surprise. Um, Jack Bartwell. Yes. One pound super chat. Thank you, Jack. Cheers, mate. No message as well. Just slaps a quid yeah. on the table and walks out. <laughs> Thank you, mate. What's that? V for vest. You're going to get aviation <laughs> thermal underwear. Would Wish that? I, had the I mean, that's not a bad announcement. Right now, yeah. But would that be the biggest announcement of the channel's history, though? I mean, I have got some new underwear on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe if I revealed it at the yeah. RVP, it may be. Yeah. But no, that's not going to happen. For the project VIPs, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generic pilots flying to Manchester in the sim. Nice, dude. Hope you have a good flight. Going full time. We already are full time, Joe, since November. Yeah. Eccleston Angel saying CAA is eight hours behind. I know. Yeah. Long Where's way. that? California. California. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Rene. No current guesses so far, says Matt Smith. Even if there was correct guesses, we wouldn't tell you. Ever, you ever been to the States, Paul? Uh, no. You've never been before? No. The closest I've been is Mexico. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Really it's enjoyed Mexico. A bit tempted to go to Mexico. It is a long flight, though, isn't it? So you've really got it to dedicate... It was 10 hours, I even remember, because the ten hours well. loving aircraft, I'm not a great flyer. Yeah, okay. And it was, uh, it was 10 hours, 5 minutes, and when the captain announced it, I think I nearly cried. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
particularly well, because I was actually a smoker back then as well. Oh, yeah, right, that's a long. Then. Mark yeah. Bradwell, thanks for the five pound super chat. Bing bong, no message. So I don't remember what company it was, but there was one time where my mum and my sister and, and me and, uh, and a partner were going on holiday, and flying home, flying there, the captain. Something must have happened. I don't know what it was, but he was really annoyed. And he did his announcement over the intercom, basically going, everything that could have gone wrong today has gone wrong already. <laughs> and oh, and wow. everyone just went, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, like whoa. Because it's like, wow, like, yeah. that's exactly what we want to know. Like, everything apart from crashing has gone wrong today. Like, that's not very sort of... You don't want to hear that. So everyone's a bit miffed. And he's like... And, and if you think about smoking, you better not be smoking. We've got smoke alarms. We'll go off. We'll chuck you off. If I'm not allowed to smoke, you're not allowed to smoke. <laughs> like this. And I was like, well, this guy maybe should let someone else fly today. I think. <laughs> I'd be very nervous. With It's just the attitude, isn't yeah, it? Like, you know something had happened. That it's really like put road him. rage attitude. We were flying back from the D Dominican Republic. And again, this is a Boeing 76. They were actually still called um, Britannia. Okay, Just yeah. about. Uh, but yeah, it, weirdly, it was in the, in the Thompson livery. They were in that sort of weird transition period. Yeah. And someone had a cigarette in the toilet, and the captain, and he did, he did this long winded announcement. And he was like, There's not much worries me about flying. I've been flying for 36 years, but uh, whatever it was. He said, But a fire at 37,000 feet, <laughs> 700 miles away, wherever we were from the Azores, is yeah. not a situation that very much. Like. So, if the individual that's just been having a cigarette in the toilet could perhaps bear that in mind. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so he went on and on and on. It was brilliant. Then. That is really not what you want to hear, is it? When you think of that, it's crazy how they used to allow smoking on planes, isn't it? I think. I know. A lot it's of that mental, is down to obviously just like ventilation and stuff. But Christian, nice to see you, mate. A mod of Mr. Snow. Oh. I hope you're doing well, dude. Nice to see you. Pretty funny stream yesterday. You was having some bad luck yesterday, wasn't he, with, uh, with scuffage all over the place. So we got uh, Tui Dreamliner Dash oh, Eight. There we go on the roll. Uh, as I was pulling into the RBP this morning, at like that was quite early, about twenty past nine, I think. There was a Tui Seven Six departing. Oh, really? yeah, yeah. I love seeing them. Like the Seven Sixes, I think they're up there with the Three Thirties. I think they're they're just as special, in my opinion. They're in that category. And there was a lot of Chinese whispers going on because when they retired the seven fives, a lot of people were saying they retired the seven sixes as well. And we'd never seen the seven sixes again for a few weeks. So we actually thought it was legit. We were like, oh no, they retired the seven sixes as well. That's like a Two double. Still got, I think, isn't it? I don't know how many they've got now, but yeah, I, think I, I do see them occasionally here at Manchester. So that's Jim's good. Left and saying back in the eighties, um, I was on the last row of non-smoking. And the guy behind me was chain smoking. It was the worst flight ever. I mean, having a row for non-smoking, and uh, actually, sorry, having a, having a smoking section at the back of the plane. Does it not all get circulated anyway? It's no, they didn't. The first flight I went on, it was at nineteen, short age, nineteen ninety-five, two thousand. Right, I was four years old then. Seven five seven, and no, the smoking area was at the back, and you would never know. You wouldn't. You know, they actually they, they actually reckon that, that the air quality in aircraft nowadays yeah. is worse than it was back then because yeah. they actually had the pressure higher to get rid of the cigarette smoke. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. but you know, you never noticed it. You, yeah. you never really knew that there was a smoke in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. I talked about this last night when we was like saying that like uh, the recirculation rate on aircraft is so high, it's unbelievable, you know. Eccleston's Angel, boys who start at seven, I know you do. Very, very jealous. Yeah. Delta and United and... Oh, mate, the guys at LA, man, they, they, they see some stuff over All there. All good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All good stuff. Yeah. It's quite well, a Jen says, I remember Air 2000. They were great, actually. I've got to say, they, they, um, it was the first uh, first carrier I flew on, and they just had an air of quality about them. I mean, they had films. Mm. Yeah. They had meals. Um, it's, it's like everything's kind of come down from that, really. I'd say it's BMI it's Baby and uh, Monarch were my kind of... Memories of flying yeah, that time. No, Mon Monica Monica. good. It wasn't even that long that Thomas Cook went under, was it? It was only, what, mm. 2019, was it? 
That's, that was horrible, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a really big one, especially here at Manchester. They've still got the Thomas Cook hangar here with the logo on. We call the seven five sevens a flying pencil. We certainly well, do. Yeah. Weirdly, I came across a few other <laughs> nicknames for the seven five seven. And as much of a 757 fanatic as I am, I d- I've not even heard of them. Uh, Atari Ferrari. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> Never heard of that in my life. And the other one was um, Long Tall Sally's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the other one. Oh, coming out now, aren't they? Is this the Turkish lining up? It looks like it. A321 Neo back to Istanbul. Yep. Connie flew air 2000 to Thailand. Multiple camera setup. No. <laughs> No, just one highly skilled one. We've considered it, but it's not. Right now, it's definitely not worth it. a Project V gets, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. But we have considered multiple cameras before. Just oh, not something. Yeah, that's my first flight was Pan Am Queen of the Skies. Oh, wow. that's, a, that's not a bad first flight. That is, is a good first flight. Yeah. Uh, Jeff and Matt saying, for your information, now it's there to retire the Boeing 757s by the end of the century. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, it gives yeah. me a bit of time to see the specials then, at least. <laughs> sort of uh, saw that coming, really, I suppose. Yeah. Sadly. 8221 on the roll. Madonna, thank you very much for your tier one subscription two months in a row. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome back, dude. Friday show is always good. Starts right after I finish work for the week. Legend. Yes. Thank you very much, mate. Really it, appreciate the support. It's good timing, isn't it? Because, you know, the weekend's starting. You know, it's it's good vibes. Christian saying, I'm pretty sure my first flight was on an Air France A300. Wow. It's not a bad first flight either, is it? Jaden, nice to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. You've not got snow in here yet, Christian. You, you're slacking, mate. One you're day. slacking. One day that, that raid will happen. Mate, one day. I'm not, I don't even want to raid. You can just pop in and just say hello and that'll be it. That's that. We, we've right. completed the internet. XQC has already watched our clips. Hey, now spe- we just need snow to drop in and we've completed internet. Speaking of completed internet, you know who recently did that? Liz. She did. Speaking of Ryanair as well. Yes. Uh, Ryan, uh, she got Liz. roasted not once. But, but twice on every platform, pretty much like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Liz, uh, about a month ago or two months ago, partake uh, in a, uh, a Ryanair poll they put out, where they said, uh, "What would you prefer? A, what was it? A, a window seat? Yeah, a window. No, 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 no a, I think a, an exit seat. Exit seat or a window seat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she I'd, said another airline. I'd, I'd rather have another airline, thank you. <laughs> so, Liz recently booked a flight with Ryanair. I've got a seat 1A and said, do I get a, uh, a free glass of fizz with this? And they replied, maybe on another airline. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, put a photo of her original comments on there as well. No way. You have to admire the honesty, do not you? Yeah, and then shared it on all their socials as well. Tim, thanks very much for the 21 Zar donation. Really appreciate that, uh, Tim. Cheers. Thanks for the support, mate. Yeah, XQC watched one of our clips of the KLM oh uh, doing gosh. a wheelie down the runway at Amsterdam. Yeah, that that was ridiculous. Like yeah. a hundred thousand viewers in the chat or something ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, that's seven four. The no, the uh, Embraer doing oh, a wheelie yeah, down yeah, the runway. Yeah. yeah. No, I just didn't remember one of the seven fours doing something. It seems to take eight and eight to get down. Yeah, did we put a seven four seven clip up from there? Yeah. So yeah, if you look at uh, Ryanair's social medias, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you'll see Liz's uh, comment there. Yeah, Christian saying the Ryanair marketing team are definitely a bunch of chads. They are. <laughs> they're pretty are wild, kind of, aren't they? Like, they, like I they think, post some wild stuff over there. Imagine that meeting where they just went together and go, guys, I fancy doing something a bit different with my social media. I'm just going to be a spice lord if yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I'm just going to rip everyone to shreds. And um, I reckon it's going to do really... And to be honest, it's actually paid off because everyone loves the Ryanair social media now, don't they? Yeah, well, a lot of people there's do a lot anyway. of character. I almost wonder if just Michael O'Leary just doesn't even know what's going on. Like They're, they're just left on their own thing. Yeah, they're just yeah, like, yeah. let's just do this, let's just be silly. My first flight was Air France uh, to the Paris Air Show a long time ago, says Victor. 
Uh, and Kevin saying, hey guys, found your channel recently. First time catching a live show, really enjoying it. Looking forward to go to the visit park next week. Nice one, Kevin. Perfect. Appreciate you tuning in, mate. Yeah, the visit park is amazing. This is just the public mound that we're on streaming from today, so anyone can come on up and get these exact same, same views. We certainly can. Just search for the Runway Visitor Park on Google, ladies and gents. Come down and show your support. You just pay for your parking, cafe, toilets, and everything like that are all on site. Lots to do. Kids play area, great viewing mound as well. Chips. 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 Most important. Easy jet inbound from Bala uh, Bologna. Barcelona. <laughs> hey, for you, 20 Neil. <laughs> Is that I'll push you off the bench. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, my nose keeps running today. I don't know why. Uh, Not the sniffles. I have. It's probably from you exhausted from filling that form out the other day with the, the doctors. Oh god, that was mad, wasn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I've never had to answer so many questions. The So I've I'll, I've been I've not updated my address on my doctors since I moved and um, I had to come clean because they needed to send me something in the post so I said oh yeah I've moved actually by the way said, when did you move I said oh about six years ago <laughs> <laughs> so they said right you're gonna have to register somewhere else and I'm not joking I went onto the website and the form that I had to fill out was three pages long Asking me how I identify myself, how I feel within my body. Um, do I smoke? Do I drink? If I drink, yeah. how much do I drink? How far can I run? How many backflips can I do? <laughs> All sorts of questions, guys. You wait till you get past 40. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. So, yeah, if you ever have to move doctors, guys, just be mentally prepared for a massive fall. Andy yeah. was in the chat with me at the time when we were doing it. We were just having a laugh at all the crazy questions I was, was getting asked. Uh, really personal questions. Well, I know it's a doctor's, I get it, but, you know, come on. There's some things, like, you, I don't think they need to know, right? Like, yeah. Right, so you have one of these. Go on, then. Let's give it, a, give it a buzz. Gluten-free, milk-free, egg-free, giant chocolate buttons. So, basically, it's just calories? a bag of air, ladies and gentlemen. Should I say go Go on and give us one of them there. Like. Sure, Paul. Here we go. Because I'm very grateful for the hat, by the way. Oh, right. I've got to say, this is working beautifully as a glove. Yeah, not bad, then. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the lack of milk, can't you? Yeah. I'll leave it down here. I mean... That's yeah. not bad, is it? No. You could demolish a bag of them easily. Yeah. Was that about four quid for that bag? Because it's got no, nothing it in it. No, it was one pound twenty, I think. I love how they charge you more for a bag that's got less in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Less, less ingredients. Just fill out the worst stuff imaginable, and they'll need it. Yeah, just answer it in a really wonky way. Make yeah, make it look like you urgently need the doctor. Oh, Happiness free, says Chad on the back of you. Just seeing the here. <laughs> that's so true, isn't it? Moved away from gluten free chocolate. This is a, a bit of a nice one, this one there. My first flight, uh, this is Philip Bolton. Yeah. My first flight was on an Orion Airlines 737 300 and it had a plaque on the bulkhead saying it was the 737th ah. 737. Wow. To be that's built. cool. That's that cool. Just jumped out at me, that. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Ali saying, that's first cute. time viewer. Hello, welcome. Uh, US Air Force planes flying around Eastern Europe and most tracks on Flight Radar 24. Well, yes, we saw a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, oh, come on, brain. Bombers flying over, didn't we, uh, yesterday, actually? Coming B over from 52s. the States. B-52s, and they were escorted by some typhoons as well. A lot of people got some great overhead shots. Andy would have done in Liverpool. They flew over Liverpool, so actually. They did, and I was uh, out and about, and I looked up, and we were, the clouds were like at the yard today, you know, just like yeah. patches. So I, don't, I didn't see them. Hey. Hey, nice big. Uh, There's an eclipse from the from the EasyJet. Um, yeah, it was like the clouds were like they were oh, at the moment, you know, like really, really patchy, and you can't really see above them too well. I was saying, I kind of a shame I didn't go down to see them because that would have been. Yeah. Am I just seeing them departing? That would have been be mental, wouldn't it? Like <coughs> mind blowing, the noise they make. Right now on approach from Berlin. Now we've got Virgin Atlantic pinging up for Bridgetown as well, another A330. Um, and uh, on the ground there's a few sort of low cost pinging up. Uh, a couple of Ryanair's and EasyJet as well. So 
Keeping things moving today at the airport, which is like great to see. Qatar, are they in today? I think they're in. They we should be. The triples today, I think. Yeah. When uh, I had a little look. The so Carlton have triples. There's a uh, Emirates triple from Dubai on the way to Boston, which is just about to pass uh, down the end of the airfield. Triple seven three hundred ER. Quite a long flight time for that one today. Sounds like it. Yeah, it departed seven hours and six minutes ago, and it's still got six hours and forty-seven oh. minutes to go. Dear, oh dear. No, thank you. Dear, oh dear. On a triple as well, like maybe on a Dreamliner, it'd be a bit more tolerable. Infant Berlin. Oh yeah, this one. It's definitely a route that's not slowed down. This Berlin route from Manchester. Quite a popular one. Brian saying we're having a bit of a heat wave in Detroit. It's minus one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When are you back at Dublin? Um, we've not booked a date yet, but yeah. we're looking forward to it. Probably this that was year. Great, by the way, can I just say, as a really, as thank a, you, fanboy. That was uh, nice. That was a nice stream. That was. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed that. Just really good view. Just completely different traffic. A lot of American stuff as well. Yeah. Really nice. And the graphics. I enjoyed that with a little oh, yeah. uh, pop up to the yeah. um, text. 1,000 likes has been achieved, ladies and there gents. There we go. Just, Just some 50 10 minutes later. in the chat. We got it though. Can't have anything to do with my goals in terms. Great picture today, that's a Steven. A few people have said that today. I don't think we've changed any settings. I don't think so. We didn't push it to 6K, did we? No. I'm tempted to. Probably could. It's of the usual, I think. Oh, Christian saying, uh, talking of unpleasant flights, I can't recommend Copenhagen to Beijing in the Scandinavian A340. 10 hours and 11 minutes. <laughs> wow. You see, I must, I must confess, this is why I like the Canaries. Yeah, it's a good amount Middle, of time, isn't yeah. it, the Canary? It's like three and a half, four hours tops, yeah. and that's, that's just nice. Yeah, it, it, it's like, as soon as it starts to get a bit boring, then you start to, like, descend then, yeah. I think. I mean, that's the longest you'll get, really, with, you know, something like a, a, a 7.3 these days, you know, like mm. a Ryanair or a Jet 2 7.3. You usually fly Jet 2, don't you, Paul? You, well, I, yeah, I can't imagine why. Yeah, I can't imagine if there's any reason why. <laughs> do you um, just get lucky with them, or do you actually? Do, do they tell you? I'll what? tell you a story now that I've not confessed to most. But okay, go on. I Is he still here? I don't know. If he, no. <laughs> I picked the date that we flew away on because I knew damn well it was a seven five. There you go. How did you know though? Like because I checked this email. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good shout. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. Yeah. Forty three rows. You know you're in. Yeah. 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 I think you're in three twenty one is thirty. Okay. Off the top of my head. Okay. Could yeah. be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Interesting. And I think a 73 is 36. You can see the 73 immediately, can't yeah. you? But on the seat map, you can tell. How's that clip doing, by the way? The I what? have no I've idea. Not in ages. We'll, uh, that, that take -off clip. I'll have a look when we yeah, get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a it's look. Probably, it's probably worth a repost, that, to be honest. There was two things about that clip, I must admit. Them. The first thing was me going, ooh, I missed that. that <laughs> and the, the second bit was the guy, the guy behind with his finger of judgment. Right oh, in my yeah, face. I see that, yeah. That was funny. Pointing out yeah. uh, Jodrell Bank, I think it was. So on Paul's last trip down to Lanzarote, he flew on a 757. He flew out of Manchester. Um, and he Jeez. recorded a clip of it that we uploaded to our Facebook page. So you can go and have a look at that, ladies and gents. Uh, but yeah, huge thank you, Paul, for, for sending that over to us. It's a, it was a good clip. It seems to get a lot of views. They could probably got over a million or something. Mm. I don't know. I haven't checked for a while. But uh, yeah, a million is it? Is I, it? It might have been. Yeah, I, I think it was. We'll have to check. Christian saying he got hooked up with nice tickets on the way back from that flight, though. Singapore to Copenhagen via Amsterdam in business class. Oh, oh, that's a bit of a flex and a half, sunshine. Wouldn't mind that. Business class on Singapore. Oh yeah, that's got to be good, hasn't it? Is this plane a Neo? Do you reckon? Could be. Could be. I reckon so. There's a few clues you can see. He's a Jet A320 Neo, apparently. Oh, that sounds rather nice. Nice, isn't it? <coughs> it's, uh, 
Atlantic. But according to another streamer that we won't mention, we're the Little Engine Club. Ah. But I mean, I don't know about that. We don't look very little to me, that uh, sunshine. Doesn't look very little. Little Engine Club. Uh, should see the A330 Virgin now. We certainly can on the left. It's a hilarious red straight shot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. I'll tell you what I started watching last night, hey, ladies and gents. Got a wave. Bit of a t-shirt. Bit of a t-shirt. Bit of a TV um, discussion now. Netflix. Started watching Narcos. Which is all about the? Um, I have no idea. You've no idea. I don't. I don't. It's watch, all about Pablo watch. Escobar and Ooh, his okay. uh, and his life and everything that happened there. Quite violent. A lot of um, plus eighteen. I can imagine. Um, sexy times and all that <laughs> stuff. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's quite good actually. I think we watched about five episodes last night. A bit bland these, aren't they? These these. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Flight control check on the uh, A330. You can just see the full deflection on the left and right wing. Uh, we should see the same on the uh, rudder as well. There we and go. the elevators. There it is. So uh, the captain will have the uh, flight control page open on the lower ECAM. And they'll uh, have a visual representation of when um, all the surfaces have deflected. And uh, the co-pilot will be calling that out. Um, and uh, that's kind of like one of the, the main things to check, obviously, that you've got full control of your aircraft before you take off. There you go. Owen's gone into Facebook and dug out the, <coughs> the 757. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, nice one, Owen. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, well. Owen. Appreciate that. It was a long night, says Mrs. Airline. Yeah, you didn't really like it so much, did you? I must admit. You know, it was a long night when I discovered um, Breaking Bad, when I started watching that. Oh, oh my gosh, you can't stop watching that, can you? Breaking Bad made me genuinely anxious <laughs> watching it. Yeah. It I'd come away just, like, as stressed as Walter. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> these, someone knocks on the door, you're like, oh, hide it, hide yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think my last one was Clarkson's Farm. That's good. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Jen binge-watched Clarkson's Farm while we were on holiday in Wales, yeah. and we really enjoyed it. I think I did, a, yeah, four episodes. Just mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one, good one to watch on a plane, that. And mm. with an Amazon video, you can download them as well, so yeah. you can watch them on planes. Oh, that wind is racing, chaps. Yeah. It is. Yeah, exactly, Simon. And then the, the first officer will, will do the same on his side. Oh, yeah, good shot, because they have their own controls, don't they? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Where's this off to? Oh, I'll, I'll have a look. Yeah, Christian's saying Clarkson's Farm is amazing. Can't wait for season two. Yeah, and he's managed to spin it in such a good way because he's like really stuck up for the farmers and everything like that. And uh, when I say spin it, I don't mean like he, he doesn't agree with what I he's was, saying. But he's I was genuinely horrified, mate, as to when when it did the last episode of the season when he worked out the sort of gross profit that they get. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous, it's, isn't it? It's as bad as it. And they might have to invest as well, of course, yeah. in the machinery and obviously the land is and the livestock. Yeah. It's insane, isn't it? So this is Virgin Atlantic Flight 77 off to Bridgetown. It's an Airbus A330-300. I'm not sure if they've still got one more A330-200. They're retiring them, aren't they? I don't know when. I, I'm, I'm sure. For some reason in my head, today was the date for that. But I don't know where I got that from. Obviously, these sort of things change a lot as well. It was like when we were trying to cover the 747 retirement flights, and they did change the dates a lot and move them around. And it was I think that's nearly two years ago now. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a scary thought. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah. And Owen's saying um, that Boeing um, documentary is coming to Netflix next Friday. I wonder how... Is that the triple one, or is that someone else? No, it's about the Max, I think. Uh, oh, okay, that'll be interesting, yeah. won't it? <laughs> I know there's a there's a there's a triple seven one going around right uh, that people are talking about a lot, but like Liz seen it. If you are enjoying the show, guys, and you're new, say hello in the chat. Don't be shy. We've got a fantastic community on the channel. Get involved in the discussion. Um, if you can't type in the chat, it's because you're not subscribed. So it's completely free. Just click subscribe, um, wait a couple of minutes, and then you will have access to the chat. I think it's on like two minutes or five minutes or something like that. Once you've clicked that subscribe button, you'll have access. Um, and if you also click the thumbs up, the like button, guys, that really does help the channel out a lot. 
um, for new viewers discovering the channel. Um, if you love your time here and you're a regular viewer of the channel, consider becoming a VIP. It really does help us cover our costs, especially with the massive investment into Project V, ladies and gents. That wouldn't yep. be impossible without our VIP, so thank you very much. Yep. Um, and well as always, it. you can always send a super chat as well by clicking the dollar symbol. Then clicking super chat. You boys on Twitch know what to do. Go around. Oh. <coughs> Straight over the RVP. Can't film that. <laughs> Were you recording that? Yeah. Any job? <laughs> uh, well, it was well, when it started. Was going. it on? Was it on screen? That is so that yes. we can get it from the live stream. Second. Wow. Go around. I've seen here. There you go. Yeah. Straight over the RVP. Probably just a uh, a bit of a gust there that, that caused that. Wow, didn't expect that at all. You know. Yeah, better safe than sorry, right? Anything you out? can always Look at go, though. go around. Do, 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 do. He's going to make the right turn back. He's going to come back. What an for epic a turn approach. it was as well. Like, yeah, straight over the I top. Did, I didn't think they turned so soon. I thought they would have cleared the runway mm. first and then sort of looped back well, around. But you it guys just do simps, so when, when it is a toga is it is it the full beans yeah so yeah. um on a go around it's it's straight to toga that's what uh the two last letters mean in toga yep go around and uh josh subscribing with a tier one thank you very much josh welcome to the vip club mate 135 vips over on twitch um 175 knots so it's not not I massively know, I, windy I, is it i wish i uh I wish I uh, recorded more Ooh, of that. That wow. was a. Uh, well, was nice. it on the screen for the yeah, full yeah, approach yeah. show? So we can we well, can always rip it, yeah. it off YouTube, can't yeah, we? So. It was very standard. I just started filming it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to do anyway. It's crazy how it like turns so quick though. Like it's like, mm. a, like an air show or something. A three thirty rolling. Here we go, guys. Interesting one. A eh? little bit unexpected that, wasn't it? It's not. Yeah, <laughs> that's so random. Metal's only 10 minutes old, yeah, cheers Christian. I mean module Christian, actually. No, oh, I don't know if I can on my phone. I'm curious as to why it went around, though. Mm. Maybe just. Was, uh, I can't be with you, can it? It's just no, not, not the no. closest to it, is it? I mean, I'm only going to assume uh, that. By it's the just way, my sister's turned up. Oh, uh, she's asking to any, does any of you two want a hot drink? <laughs> I'm all right. I've got a full <laughs> yeah. flask here. Well, thank done. you very much. Thank you. Oh, I have to log in. Oh, they they probably weren't happy with the approach, I'm assuming. That's all I can think. Yeah, it looks like there was a bit of an updraft and then uh, they just decided to go around. I mean, it's a BA, so they, you would have thought it would have been quite light, but... Yeah. I think it would have been. Possibly an unstable approach. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm th leaning towards. Yeah. Messi stop my trainer. Oh yeah. He's happy. He's happy that what? Wait. Oh right. Okay. I think he's forgotten I'm doing this. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> so have you been there before? You've come to us, or are you going there no, after? after? Right, I got you. Yeah, after. DMK, thanks for the four months of Twitch Prime, Bing Bong. Appreciate you, mate. Welcome. Thanks for the support. Thank you. Any primers? Any oilers? Any oilers? Any primers? Another Ryanair. It was definitely Ryanair that went down in the traffic levels last week, wasn't it? Yeah. That made the big difference. Seen so many of them today. 
Paul Murphy, hello to you, welcome mate. Another Ryanair UK aircraft. And the Ryanair lining up is uh, not on radar. Python there is pinging up though, which is cool. Yeah, Snow yesterday was saying that he'd love to learn to fly as well. Yeah. So, and he was actually talking about um, live stream equipment and stuff. Um, potentially live streaming a, a flight of a Spitfire, which would be pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. <coughs> right now, now rolling. No worries, Eccles and Agent. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Louise. Glad you you, uh, you like the new merch. Oh yeah, I've seen your photos, Louise. Look good. Up she goes. And uh, Christian, I think I put a message in his chat. I'm not sure if you saw it, but uh, obviously we've got all the equipment and five years of knowledge in that area so if he needs any advice mate feel free to um, either tell him to drop me a message or if you want to ask anything I can uh, give you a hand dude and I think we've got a bit of a uh, bit of a lull have we? looks like it possibly I'm assuming that BA is going to come back around soon yeah it'll be uh, like yeah no doubt he's probably going to be uh, on the base leg very shortly Have a look on radar, shall we? Yes, Lanzarote is cold, I think. <laughs> yeah, the Icelander has been pushed back, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, flight uh, 441 off to Reykjavik. So I've just got, I'm just going to say in this little low I have it. Yeah. I've got a whole new appreciation for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what's that there in the cold? Oh, what what is it? The, the the temperature or the chat? It's or everything. It's ev just just so much going on. Yeah. Um, I mean, now I'm, you see I'm, what I mean about if you put a message. Yeah. Yeah. Within seconds, it's gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For Usually, sure. I have my Samsung, which probably gives me an extra two or three messages. Yeah. About here. Yeah. yeah. But I left it at home. Oh, um, no, I totally get it now. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's good though. It's great. Though. Yeah, used to it after a while. Thank you for having me, by the way. That's all right. It's, okay. it's good. Go for, enjoying it's it. I am actually. Yeah. It's good lad. It's nice. Bloody cold, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, my sister did say she said, "Oh, I might pop down." Oh yeah. Um, well, like so I say, do just, uh, don't feel me. any uh, requirement to do the full show. If oh. you get very cold, we will not take offence. We'll probably take the mic, but we won't take a Jake's uh, about to have some sausage, apparently. Oh, yeah. Well. Well. PG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> G. Crow That's just making a landing. Giving uh, Paul some ammunition here. He is, isn't he? He's, he's, uh, I think he's trying to bait him now, isn't he? <laughs> uh, he's turning he now the B8, says John Roger. So yeah, it's already on, on final now. Uh, that BA do it, so yeah, it did, Stephen, yeah. To go around. <clears throat> Don't know why, but yep. Ooh. We have seen before. I'm sure I've seen before um, a go around because of a me medical uh, reason. Oh right. I think it was it a could Ryanair. have been like, the cabin wasn't ready or anything. But yeah. Don't, I doubt that. Yeah, it could have been anything. Could have been anything. I'm sure, maybe we might, we might find out, but I'm sure it won't be anything. Uh, won't be anything uh, amazing. <laughs> Yes, so uh, the Icelander IC is the reg, ICY, is now pushed back. Using is it the uh, the yellow stripe one? It, it is, is. yes. Yeah. It looks okay, I guess. <laughs> David tuning in from New Mexico. Welcome, David. Bet it's a bit warmer over there. And Michelle says, uh, hi, I missed the start of the show. Who is your friend that has joined today? Good shout, yeah. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm Paul. I've, I've been uh, a VIP for well about four years. Four years thereabouts. Yeah, yeah. Paul Davies. He's always yeah. in the chat. Recognise him, Paul Bing go, Bong. Go Davies. by the nick of uh, Mr. Bing Bong. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Usually, Mr. Bing Bong himself has joined us today yeah. as a guest yeah. appearance. Whenever there's a 757 on screen, he just appears in the chat all of a sudden. Hi, boys. <laughs> I don't know if you've got uh, alerts on your phone or something yeah. that, like yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, time to join the chat. <laughs> Flight radar alerts. 
Um, the yep. Iceland Air 737 Max 8 is now taxiing. Yeah, long and short, so I was asked to uh, pop down. And, well, I was asked if it wanted to try doing this and yeah. saying hello. And I thought, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Why there not? we go. Are you guys planning to stream the Emirates A380 takeoff later today? Yes. Oh, I don't know. As long as it's on time, depends. we will be uh, covering that for you. It depends how late it is today. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys sell keychains anymore? We have sold out, Jaden, I'm afraid. Oh, love yeah. you too, Laurie. Yeah, we had uh, quite a few of them, didn't we, that we sold? Uh, the runway tags. Uh, might do more of them. Anyway, here's the PA, by the way. Completely missed Cucumber there. saying, can you tell us a typical British tongue twister? She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Mate, that was 10 out of 10, wasn't it? No, Didn't was good. I'm not even going to try that. Pizza Piper, Pizza Pecker, Pickle <laughs> Peppers. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. That's a good one. Sort of like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say quit though, you're meant to say quit, but I can't yeah, say quit. Yeah, you have to take your time, don't you? Yeah. I hope Paul, nice to see you, mate, in the chat. Are they coming back in stock? We have no plans to buy any more, Jaden. Sorry, mate, we uh, we shifted about 150 of them, so um, I don't think there's anyone left that needs to buy them apart from you, dude. Sorry. Iceland Air, there it is. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I, was just, <laughs> I was just instinctive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not that bad. I mean, do you know what? Now I've seen Those it. As liveries flesh, go, it's. Uh, yeah. We'll stick with this BA and then we'll uh, we'll catch the Iceland Air on the departure. Here's a BA landing safely. Yankee tuning in from South Africa. Hello. Is this Welcome. the go around? Yes. Yep, just yeah. after the go around, down safely and nice and easy, of course. I've got coffee jams. Excuse me. No worries, mate. Take your time. How you like? I'll just have a little sip. Thank you. I've been issuing this uh, go around was precautionary. Let's give him a wave, shall we? <laughs> Make him know we're on, they're on camera, right? <laughs> yeah. An aircraft uh, on approach up there, you can see him on the way in. Let's have a look here he is. Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, that's, that's a Qatar. That's epic, wow, what a shot. Qatar triple. Right, let's, let's pan around to that, look at this ladies and gents. A good spot that, really good spot. It's got me good eyes on today. Yeah, I really have. Sure, Mars look at that ladies and gents, that is the Qatar triple seven. Where is the it? The triple from? F. On approach here at Manchester Airport, on the downwind at the moment. That's scary because I haven't got my glasses on. Yeah, because you look it's over there. Oh, that's why. Got you, got you. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking in the direction. I can't see it, guys. <laughs> got me wrong eyes on today. Oops. <laughs> Although it's making a right turn to sort of loop around the yeah, little wider. Yeah, like he's losing a bit of altitude, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, that's quite a sh sharp right turn it's making. In fact, it's heading back. It's in a hold almost. Oh, I've got to say, RV, RVP coffee, not bad. It isn't, is it? At all. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? I've lost size on that now, actually. I've still got it. Look oh, at right. this, guys. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can just see it. Wow, we're still following it. Oh, so is it actually doing a holding loop, is it? Yeah, it's going away now. It's going the opposite way. Oh, yeah, look. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. So he's at... I mean, he's holding at 7,000 feet, so the... the the hold is most probably for traffic rather than um, altitude. There you go, um, you can see a hold live on stream, that's crazy. Because the downwind um, would usually get you down to about 3,500 feet to intercept on the ILS. We have got a fast mover going from right to left over there as well. Not sure what he's up to. Um, what a view though, so watch that live, that's insane. I think that's a Cessna 41, uh, 421 Golden Eagle has just passed uh, over Alto Airspace from Bournemouth. Um, we've got a few on the approach and they're pretty slow movers I think which is why there's a Logan Air uh, ERJ. So the Qatar's probably just um, getting a bit of separation for that I would have thought. It's crazy the zoom we have here though, like, that is so far away. 
miles and miles away. Oh, nice, Andy. Well done. <laughs> like, so far. Right, let's zoom, let's zoom off that. That's awesome, though. Like, the other with the clouds as well. Just over Buxton. That's yeah, epic. SJH, yeah, exactly. What a zoom. What a zoom we have here. <laughs> oh, God, what's this? Oh, I'm not going to... I've stopped reading messages from Jake out first time. I usually have to scan them first, make sure it's all right, and then have a read. <laughs> Go on. Hope no one can hear me sipping this coffee bag. No, you're all right, you're mate. All right. No, I can't hear it. Bit of ASMR. <laughs> right and I just arriving here. Again, another Ryanair. Can sell that to the BBC. No thanks. <laughs> what, uh, what, the, the, the go around. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> no, Rome uh, is the uh, departure I bought for this Ryanair. Departed two and a half hours ago. So I actually thought it took a bit longer than that to get to That's Rome. That's not bad, is it? And the Iceland Air. There. There's an easy jet for Akaba as well. Yeah, the Iceland Air's lining up, isn't it? Yep. The catch that Iceland Air, brand yeah, new we'll livery. A, grab a clip of that, I think. That yeah. Me. <laughs> Winding you up, isn't she? <laughs> How is that with Jenny? She alright? She's doing well. Good, good. Working today. Thanks for all the follows coming through on Twitch as well, guys. Really appreciate it. Airline is like, what plane is it, Ryan? Uh, uh, 737-800. There goes the Iceland Air, brand new livery, icy. The yellow highlights on the tail there. I'm going to put my neck on the line and say distinctly underwhelming. Okay, yeah. Distinctly underwhelming. I think that is the uh, consensus on that one. <laughs> yeah, yes. you're, not, um, you're not a minority there, I don't think. <laughs> Daniel, a huge welcome to you tuning in from Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the community, Daniel. Really yeah, appreciate you tuning in. It's chilly up there, isn't it? Are you missing? You guys missing any of the uh, special seven five liveries? Have yes, you to get I'm missing old? the um, the glacier, glacier oh. and the uh, the one with the red stripe on it. The fifty years. So I've only got one so far. I've seen them both. It's the other one I'm missing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Heckler Aurora one. That's, Heckler, that yeah. is the. Oh my gosh, that is a stunning aircraft. Papa Kilo tuning in from Yorkshire. Welcome to you, mate. Is the Neo special again? Quite agree, Nicholas. So all I will say on that one. We are into about the last hour of today's show, ladies and gents. I tell you what, it's flown by. It certainly does. If you are new, make sure you hit subscribe and click the thumbs up as well. If you're new to the community, feel free to introduce yourself in the chat. Yep. Say hello and uh, you'll get a massive welcome from the community here at Airliners Live. We live stream every Friday and Sunday. Between 10 and 10.30 a.m. we go live. Um, we usually wrap up about half one. Um, every now and again we do bonus shows on a Wednesday as well. And uh, lots of uh, big announcements coming in the next few weeks as well. One a very big one. Yeah. So if you're just joining the community today, you, you are joining at the best time, ladies and gents. Thanks very much for tuning in. David saying that Iceland looks like a Ryanair. Oh, there you go. I know what it is. The big announcements. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's big. It's it is big. big. It's really big, isn't it? It is uh, big. But it is. Um, Be a careful. Oh, I thought you were uh, going to no, give a. No, I thought no, you were going to no. give a little hint. <laughs> I'm loving this. I was like, hold on. <laughs> oh, Martin's on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lovely community. It really is. What have we got touching down a here? A beach B two hundred. Is that what this is? Nice. Uh, the airline is... Were you live last <laughs> Sunday? No, we took that day off, mate. 
The airline is Fly Wales. <laughs> oh, thing. right, cool. Jen, is this the one that goes into Valley? Fly Wales. <laughs> Wales is national airline, I guess. Because <laughs> there used to be um, a flight that brought the lady in who, who owns the hotel, I think. Was All right. what I got told. That's a, a nice lifestyle, isn't it? Mm. Having a plane take you to your hotel. Millipede, nice to see you. Yo, Millipede, how's it going? Give him mine a heart attack. Yeah. Awesome looking plane, that. It's awesome, yeah, I love it. G flick. That is stubby on the nose, isn't it, with the tail? Uh, sorry, with the uh, nose wheel. Yeah, right up at the front there. Little round windows on there. Fly K, the registration on that. Uh, Philip saying, uh, hi guys from Essex, uh, just tuned in for the first time. Welcome mate, a huge welcome to the community. Yep. Uh, saying, can I ask what pilots mean by V1 and rotate when taking off? Ooh. Yes, so that's due to performance calculations which are done um, on on all aircraft. Um, well, obviously mainly, mainly liners, but um, so there's a few different ones. You've got V1, V rotate, which is VR, and V2. Um, and in some aircraft, there's, there's more. Um, but plain and simply, V1 is the... S so it's all to do with the speeds, okay? So V1 is the speed at which... And we, even with an engine failure, you have to take off because you haven't got enough space left on the runway uh, to stop the aircraft safely um, once you pass that V1 speed. So to work that out, a lot of aircraft and airliners um, have a performance calculator built into a little iPad or um, they do some um, checks on some charts that they've got to work that out. So V1 will be the uh, last point at which you can stop the aircraft um, for a uh, engine failure. Once V1 is called, you'd usually see if you watch some videos on YouTube, the pilots take the hand off the throttle um, because there is an instinctive there to if you feel something bad happens, just pull back on the throttles. So to get rid of that, they uh, they take the hands off the throttles at V1. VR is obviously rotate, so that's the speed at which uh, the aircraft can rotate. Usually it's one or two knots above the um, V1 speed at most of the major UK airports, but it varies. Um, it doesn't really matter, it's just the speed, and that's based on the aircraft's weight um, and all sorts of other factors. Um, V2... I believe is a safe climb out speed. Someone may correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's to do with the speed you want to achieve um, on your climb out, basically. Uh, someone in the chat just double check that one. But I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's the behind on that. They won't usually call that out though, will they? It's no, V2 is just a, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not really called out. Um, I have a question for you actually. When they reach, is that 100 knots? Mm -hmm. And sometimes 80 knots, they'll cross check that? What yes, is that? So what is that? basically that's to make sure that both the first officers and the pilot's instruments are matched up. Because right. you don't want one pilot seeing um, one speed and someone else seeing another. Right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they'd usually call 80 knots and that would get a check. Yeah. It's either 80 or 100. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that basically means, yeah, you're seeing 80 knots, I'm seeing 80 knots. And We're good. Uh, similar on... Um, it's, it's kind of just one of those things that it's just they just check. Do you want to say this? Yep. Um, yeah, because that's, that's the the language I hear. It's always uh, 80 knots cross check. That's it, Sam. Thank you, mate. Saying V2 is the speed at which an airplane will climb in the event of an engine failure. Yeah. So the V2 uh, speed is, is the speed which you'd need to maintain for safe climb uh, in an engine out situation. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, cheers, guys. I wasn't 100% sure on that one. Interesting. That's a big old, big old plane. It is, isn't it? Oof. I gotta say, my uh, my brother absolutely loves these things. Was it? Yeah. Big triple seven fan. Right, over to you. Oh, awake. Go on then. What do we? Uh, we just follow it in, where's the remote? I'll, I'll do a bit of remoteage. 
ball that's taken over the camera. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Got some 10 out of 10s in the chat. <laughs> Mr. Bing Wong Paul Davis is in charge. We've also got a red nose on uh, approach as well. No rush. No rush. Really Norwegian. Good. So we'll catch that soon. 737. Seven. Cheers to all the followers, guys, on Twitch. Appreciate it. Great shot, guys, says uh, Yankee in the chat. Nice. So what you're looking at now is the Qatar Airways Flight 27 from Doha, Boeing 777-300 uh, ER, Alpha 7 Bravo Echo Romeo on the registration of this big bird. I'll give you some idea of scale there, look at that, ladies and gents. Awesome. You got it. Yeah, got I think so. Oh, there's a brown bill because I've got I'm stuck in my mittens. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mine as well. You got an eight. <laughs> now you look at the size of this, though. So the triple seven. Oof! Wow, <laughs> that's a gorgeous thing. Yeah, gorgeous. huge. Love to get the wide zoom out shot of the triple just to get an idea of the the scale of it. You know. Keeping it simple, yeah, it landed a few moments ago, my mate. Nice flying architect. Okay, so you turn at zero DME from the Manchester VOR, make a right turn. Okie doke. And also just landed, we've got a Norwegian flight 1348 from Oslo. It's a Boeing 737. Lima, November, Delta, Yankee, uh, Mike on the registration of this. 737-800. Red news. Uh, Jeffrey Dingle has just said that new 777X is three metres longer still. Oh, oh my word. gosh, yeah. That's going to be a, a big... Uh, it's going to be a beast, that, isn't it? Does that have the um, the Chevron engines as well? I think it yes, does. It yeah, it does. does yeah. Yeah. Any oh. news on Project V, says Al Smith. Yes, there is a lot of news. Lots of it. Very little, I can actually tell you. But yesterday, final Low payments time, were made and final contracts <laughs> were signed. And that is all I can tell you. It's big. But it's going to be big. It's going to be a regular on, on the channel as well. It's not going to be like a one-off thing. It's going to be a whole change to what you're going to see. And that is the final hint you will get from us guys, I'm afraid. Yeah. I mean, there was quite a big hint in the Project V graphic that we put oh, up. Oh, yeah. No one picked and up no on And no one that. picked up on it. it there's, two, well. there's two big hints in there. One of them you probably wouldn't know unless we told you. But... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Port. I don't know if he clocked it, but now you know you may have done Yeah. Um, let me... Uh, yeah, so Martin made a graphic. It's on our Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. And in that graphic, there's a big hint. There is a big and hint. And those who are really into aviation probably might have seen it and not noticed it, maybe. Hold on. But if you are into your aviation, you probably re recognise it from somewhere. It's a Norwegian 737 here, obviously with the... This is the first one of these I've seen for a very, very good while, actually. Yeah. yeah. Going back here. Uh, pre Panny D. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Ah. See what I mean? Yeah. So we uh, we chucked that in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. Oof. Quite a big hint, isn't it? Yeah. It, now you know, you know. Now I know, it's, yeah. It stands out. It does. Go. But that is it, ladies and gents. We're not telling you anything else, I am afraid. For money, however. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I jest, I jest. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. But for money, no. <laughs> Are we in an office studio? No, we're not. No, we're actually quite enjoying working from home. Yeah. We did a... Uh, we did consider getting an office yeah, at one point. We looked into it, but... Uh, this probably would have had some benefits, but there's also a lot of benefits being at home and... Is this, uh, cost savings and stuff. Pegasus. Oh, it is, yes. yeah. A320 Neo, it looks like. Oh, cost you a lot more than 10 quid vision thing. I'm 
lot more. <laughs> few zeros. Add a few zeros on that. Bit of a squeaky brake. There is. Yeah. On the 320 Neo. I thought that was the reverse, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, there's, um, yeah, so no office isn't something we're looking at. We it's, we don't really need it on Airliners Live. We, no. Me, me and Andy have a virtual office. We do. <laughs> that we meet up on. Aircraft transit in the field. Can oh, yeah. I just, uh, you want to take that? You can, hold on. Uh, that's you. You are muted now. All right, mate. Hmm. Nice slow taxi there off the runway. Alpha saying, I'm sure you can be persuaded to tell us with pork pies. There's quite a few things that pork pies would persuade us with, but not this one. <laughs> Very right. You'll have to wait, ladies and gents, I'm afraid. You'll have to wait. Ah. It'll be worth the wait though, guys. Me personally, I'm so impatient usually. I am. I you just know. want... I nearly said something I shouldn't, man. <laughs> I just want to gather all the things we've spoken about. Right. For the release. Yeah, yeah, And exactly. get the release out. That's what I want. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Streaming on Netflix now, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Vision thing. Yo. Anyone got any contacts where would Netflix? the Where would the V go into that, though? That's the thing. I don't though. know. I don't know. Pork pies with HP sauce. I still don't get that combo, you know. What? Pork pies with HP sauce. Mate, it's got to. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Tart, I just don't need sauce on my pork pies. Yeah, like you I do. Just, Mate, if you've not had fine. it. Listen, get a bit of mustard on there for, to start with. Mustard? Okay. Mm. 10 out of 10. Right. And if you've not got mustard in, I don't mind. Barbecue sauce, red sauce, HP sauce, uh, doesn't matter. I think red sauce might be one a bit intense. good one is burger sauce, with a little, and it's got a little bit of pickle in there. Right. That's good as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have you tried the chicken Big Mac yet, by the way? No. I might try it on the way home, actually. <laughs> you said that last time, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I tried it, actually. I think it was that day on, on Saturday night. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. It wasn't, wasn't, mm. wasn't amazing. It wasn't, like, the best chicken. It was, like... The really default, you know what you get with like a chicken, um, yeah, is it no, a McChicken mean. I think it is? <coughs> yeah. It's quite a default burger, it's not nothing crazy. Oh, Lauren, stepping it up a level. Pork pies with chilli jam is where it's at. Oh, that sounds naughty. That, that does sound naughty. A bit of that. I don't mind a bit like sweet and, and savoury mixed together. Like that Morrison's um, salmon meal, it had like a sweet oh, sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, really nice. Got another aircraft on approach now. Uh, I could just see the lights peeping through the clouds up here. What could it be? It looks like a Boeing. Maybe a 737. Virtual streaming. Um, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> does that mean like we just go on MFS? On, just sit on the ground at MSFS yeah, and I've just Yeah, I've always thought about doing that, you know, with the, the Maco sim. Yeah. Because they've, they've, they've uh, created the RVP in that sim as well. Get your own channel on Virgin. Now, that would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be good. People are still not getting it at all. It's crazy. I love it. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Hope you're enjoying the show today. Really appreciate you uh, tuning in to the Fry Yay Show. Should do like a cash reward for anyone who gets it right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you only get one guess. I'll. Uh, what I will say, ladies and gents, I think only once or twice it has been guessed. Yeah, I have seen Not some in today's show, but it has been guessed once or twice. And we've never let on, but yeah. Yeah, I have seen yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. It was like when we did the Dublin announcement and I didn't say any to anyone where we were going and uh 
some people guessed Dublin. Yeah. Got it right. But we're live from the Runway Visitor Park, ladies and gents. Make sure you come down and show your support. You just pay for your parking. There's a fantastic cafe, uh, play area, all of the aircraft exhibits. You can uh, book yourself on a tour around Concorde, Alpha Charlie, the flagship of the Concorde fleet. Here, and it's beautifully preserved as well. And the electrics are working on board as well. The nose lowers, apparently, still as well. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Crazy how well it's been preserved could be a sticker on a plane. Imagine. Imagine someone put an airliner's live sticker on one That'd of the That'd be good. Even, yeah, even just like... Could you imagine doing that yourself? Just like slapping one on the side on, on the way in. Yeah. <laughs> you are going vegan. Why, why would we be signing contracts to go vegan? <laughs> want to do this Spon right. Airliner's live, sponsored by vegans. Yeah, Beyond Burgers. Yes. One, 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 two, three. There you go. You want the headset back? Yeah. Ryan Edge touchdown, 737. One for you. Thank you. Right, you're live on Channel 4, please don't swear. Oh, we're back. We're back in, there you go. Sister has come and provided coffee. Very nice. Oh yes. What you need, and you a holes mint. And you got your hat on as well now. Uh -huh. You've now got more merch on than Martin. <laughs> he does. Rock in the hat. You wanted to put a car sticker on Congo. I did not want to put a car sticker on Congo. <laughs> I think we did mention like, that though, didn't we? We didn't mention it, but it was <laughs> never serious. Just being clear on that. Just hide on the tail where, it's, where the red is. Yeah, somewhere on Congo, we've hidden an air on his life car sticker. The only problem is, chaps, is he doesn't recognise me much. With me hat on. No, we go. won't. Brilliant. Same when you're trying to pay and you've got a mask on in a shop. Yeah. Loopy, both of those guesses are incorrect. Sorry folks, if you can hear a clicking noise, it's a mint. <laughs> you can, uh, these are Swiss, so if you want, just do that. Just pull it away if you want, and then you, there you go. Easy clappage. Project V, VR support, says Ryan. Oh. Say no more. No, I'm only joking. It is not that. <laughs> we could like be really spicy and we could like just say that. Just give false hints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, I've not seen that cheeky. Is he a Geordie? No, he's not a Geordie. Is he? Mr. Geordie. John Fez, don't yeah, call him a Geordie. I'm not that, that cheeky. Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> he was streaming last night, so he's probably having a bit of a lie in today. Yeah, you'll see him at like half one. As he, when he rolls he out of bed. Twitch, doesn't he? he does now, yeah. Is it worth joining Twitch? Yeah. I, I don't actually. Yeah, uh, it's really good. Quite a lot of flight sim streams on there if you like the flight sim stuff. Yeah, the thing about Twitch is it's mainly based around simulations and video games and stuff. So they do have a IRL uh, category, but it's not. It, you know, it's mostly girls. Basically, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Girls just talking to the camera in their bedroom, basically. Yeah. Nothing nefarious, but that's kind of how it ends up being. <laughs> but uh, it, we seem to do all right on Twitch these days, so people seem to enjoy it being on Twitch. I do find the quality's a little bit better on Twitch as well. Like, only a little bit. Mm. Uh, like, transcoding's a little bit better. I love the clip functionality on Twitch as well. I think it's yeah. really good. Like YouTube just have completely missed it. I think with with theirs. Yeah, I think it needs a bit of work. The YouTube clip. Yeah, just system. like how you can clip so easily, and then it gives you a link, and then it generates a thumbnail as well, and you can just post it somewhere like Reddit or on Facebook or something. Whereas Still the, the no YouTube ones. Subs, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the YouTube one. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to work very well. The YouTube mm. one. Like you post it on Facebook, it doesn't have a thumbnail. It kind of. Opens up the whole stream as well, and yeah, does need a bit of work. Four ninety nine dollars super chat. Oh, Brian Bruce, time to concentrate on work. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Sunday. Cheers, cheers, Brian. Thank you, mate. Appreciate the support. Bing bong. Cheers, Brian. Is Paul loud for you on your headset? Uh, uh, it just seems quieter than you on my headset, anyway. Let me check. Give it a give it a bit of a. There we go. Yeah, I'll, uh, 
Let Archer. me know if Paul's the same level. We've got Paul Davies here. He's one of the long-term VIPs, family members of Airliners Live, I guess you could say. It's been involved for over four years now on the channel. And uh, thought we'd have him on today as a, a third member of the the hosts. Myself and Martin are here as usual as well. Mods, I can see a lot of mods guessing in our mods chat. As soon as the announcement video is ready, in the next week or so, you will be the first to see it, I promise. Jimmy on the, t on the uh, approach, Andy. Nice. Oh, just... uh, Alistair tuning in from Turkey, welcome to you. Lovely sound from the 7 3. And this 2 Dream Line is inbound from London, so it's very light. Repositioning fly. Ah. Gatwick. Oh, right, okay. 37 minutes on that flight today. So you should be uh, off straight in front of us for a head on, you would think. It's looking like it, yeah. Let's hit that record button, shall we? more than likely will vacate ahead of us yeah it's looking good yeah it's already off all the way from Gatwick what a long flight that is <laughs> does it tell you? how long is that? yeah 30, 30 34 minutes, minutes yeah. I think it's said. Uh, one last guess says Rich, and no, that is not correct, dude. India, India on the registration. G2, eh? Mrs. Patmore, the name. Is that Mrs. Patmore? In it, Mrs. Patmore, who's in the, uh, it's, probably, it's obviously not the same, but there's a Mrs. Patmore on that show, Jam watches all the time. Ah. What is it? Um, don't know. Clarkson's Farm? No, the, the olden days thing. <laughs> what is it? The Downson Abbey, that's it. Ah, okay. She's only the cook, though, so I don't think she'd be on the side <laughs> of the two. Uh, but She's an inspiration to all cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly long and stressful flights, as Christian on that. Fancy <laughs> 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 Mrs. Patmore. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a bullion spoon. <laughs> right, I think this is another. Is it another two or is it? It's a KLM, isn't it? This. Yeah, it's a KLM. Seven three seven. Inbound from Amsterdam, of course. Seven hundred. Oh yeah. 737-700, a bit like that biz jet we see last week that Martin missed. <laughs> I've none of that, thank you. <laughs> I must admit, I know um, I know I have a laugh, but I did quite enjoy Downton Abbey, I'll be honest. I I've never it quite, seen it. Oh, it's quite a good series. There's just a bloke with a really deep voice that, that gets me. Is he, is, is he yeah, still on it? The, the butler. Yeah, that's that's all I watch it for. Seven hundred by the looks of it. It is. Yeah, just the one exit door over the wing there. A little bit shorter. It's middle. Hmm. There you go, Christian backing me up. Yeah, down and Abbey's quite good. Oh yeah. There you go, Jen. See, I I watch your stuff. Now you can watch Narcos with me later on. Have another five episodes. I got us twenty chicken nuggies. We we'll watch some Narcos. Chicken Big Max. Oh, 
What a great view that is. Air Lingus rugby livery due in again at one o'clock. Don't of go course. for a loo break, says Lee. Of course it is. That only comes in when Martin hasn't got his camera with him. I know. You know that. Us on the stream, we're sick of seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it at Dublin as well when we were there last week. As well as all them beautiful Air Lingus A330s as well. Oh. Do you know what shot me actually? How many were still in the old livery? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Still a good few about, isn't it? You just don't see them here at Manchester, the old yeah. liveries. And <coughs> Can I, someone I, time out Mrs. Airlander's live, please? Yeah. <laughs> No, I do like the old Aer Lingus 330s. I think the the old colours are beautiful. Cheers, Line Dancer. Glad you're enjoying the show. It's got helicopter inbound, says Andy. Ah. Really? Is it? I'm going to have a Gucci. I don't see it. There's something about the Aer Lingus um, green colour that is... It's kind of like a flip paint, oh, it so is? it's like a greeny-blue colour. It says it's going to Leeds, but it's on the approach. Like, as an on final. <laughs> Mate, I swear down, every time I leave the house and forget my camera, why does this stuff happen? Something good happens, right? What is it about it? You should do it more often, because we've had a go-around, we've had, uh, we're having the Irish rugby team special, we had the Iceland Air special as well. And now we're on the heli as well. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just pointed out that uh, one of the special delivery there, uh, Iceland Air 757s has just uh, scooted straight over us. Cheers for the heads up on that heli, right guys, Andy D giving us the heads up, we're going to go quiet now, because we're going to record this helicopter for the full approach, and Why uh, not? we'll see where it vacates actually, hopefully it'll come <laughs> will, along a bit. Will, will it stop in time <laughs> for the head on? <laughs> will it go around? Will it go around? It may come off there, to be honest, and go through, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it will, to be honest, I don't see why, why would it, you know what I mean? I mean, the last one came to here though. Yeah, true. Saxon uh, helicopters, Leonardo AW109 Sierra Papa is the um, is the make on this one. We're seeing all sorts today, aren't we? It's inbound from uh, Northall. Two-year-old aircraft. Yeah, this is going to be cool, guys. Can we see it? Oh, I can just see its light on I the know, approach. I've seen that as well. Yeah. It's mad how it flies the um, the ILS. Any chance of going to a slower shutter speed, says Andy D. Um, no, I'd have to I'd have to reconfigure a bunch of things. I'd have to go into manual aperture and yeah. <coughs> I don't think the aperture goes past f16 on this, so yeah. The hell, you should do a usual taxi. Yeah, I've seen them. I think every time I've seen them, they've done the normal taxi in front of us. Mm -hmm. Just about to see it there. So I'll wait until it gets a bit closer so we have a better view. Oh, there it is. Ronaldo on board. <laughs> <laughs> G Jots apparently in at 20 past one as well. Nice. Ooh. Oh, yo, you, you don't often see that coming in, do you? No, you usually just see it arriving, don't we? So we'll definitely catch that as well, guys. Gee, Jots. Great show today. Yeah. But here we oh, go. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought I was. I thought that was looking. That looked like a plane. Here we go. We'll uh, smack record on this for you guys. Enjoy it. And it's got an aircraft behind it as well, so it's got to get a hurry on. Keep her coming, keep coming. It's going long on this touchdown, isn't it? Good lad, that's it. It's going to be right for us here. It's a cool livery as well.
keeping an eye on this aircraft, Andy. Yep. I thought the plane was going to go around because the uh, run the heli has only just vacated the runway, and there's already a Ryanair touching down. He's uh, he's probably just going to go a bit longer on his rollout. That's all. There you go, not something you see every day, ladies and gents, here on Airliners Live. Great shot there. Oh, I like the reg as well. Adam Taylor pointed out that it's uh, G, basically thunder. Yeah. And it had like a lightning strike on it. That was cool. Awesome. Did Great anyone catch. else have the airwolf feet? I did. So they don't have a dedicated helipad, so that's actually going to Signature Aviation, Chris, I believe. That was brilliant, says Flying Architects. Awesome. Yeah, it was a real treat, that guy. It's not something that happens often here at Manchester. Yeah. Did you read out the donation, by the way? I didn't. Uh, uh, Line Dancer, thank you very much for the $5 super chat, Bing Bong. Says enjoying the airliner's live stream. Good stuff, guys. Sending greetings to my fellow plane spotters. Have a good weekend, all. Cheers, Line Dancer. Really appreciate that. We're actually going to be live again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Yep. If you want to tune in for us there as well, mate. Rich saying he had the Airwolf theme as well. That was really cool. Really cool spot that heli. It looked like a one not lightning, says Loopy. We'll have to have a look at the footage when we get back on the... Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That came out of nowhere, didn't it? It did. It's been involuntarily, no? How old are you now? Too old. Too old. These things start to happen. Well, yeah. they do, don't they? <laughs> Involuntary, yeah. <laughs> Then you sneeze, you chump and all that. Wind movements. <laughs> what was that? That was me dying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very slowly and... in the middle of a conversation as well. Yeah. <laughs> Another Ryanair lining up on the runway. This is what we're talking about. Like I said, last weekend, when it was very quiet feeling, and we said it's because the Ryanair's on here, I, I, I'm telling you, Ryanair's fill up the uh, the bulk of the movements here at Manchester, and it's all like the in-betweens where these quiet spells are, these Ryanair's appear, and look at this. The other day, guys, it keeps the stream rolling, it's it better does. than seeing no planes at all, ladies and gents. We've had our fair share of that over the last couple of years. More than. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this one is 
Not showing, no, there it is. Uh, on its way to Berlin. Mm. On the ground, we got an easy jet from Munich uh, and another 737 from Jet 2. And the, uh, the King Air is on the taxi out as well from Signature saying uh, Mr. Matt Davies. Matt. Matt Davies. Matt Smith. Honestly, my head today. I've, just, I've got to say about that, I love how you pronounce my surname correctly. Yeah, I know. That's lovely. There you go. That Davies. Is, yeah, not many people well, there's, do two different, there's two different spellings, isn't there? Well, the English way is I S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm the Welsh way, which is I E S. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But there's not many people actually pronounce it right. Mm. There you go. It's nice. Well done. Well a nice change. Yeah. Got sunburnt, says EDC. I wish third world problems, first world problems, sorry. Yeah, it's better problems to have. Uh, Lingus on the ILS now with the rugby special on. Roger, I can't see it yet, but uh, no doubt be here in a minute or two. Cool. That's an easy jet. Just see it. Yeah, so that's... Uh, that one is on its way to Munich. Gotta say, not had a bad, bad flight with these jets mm. ever. Yeah, I think they're a really good airline. Really, personally. really good. Yeah, they're actually, and um, the comfort on board is usually good, especially on the Neos. They're very quiet. They're very calm and steady. Um, and yeah, the seats are usually pretty comfy for a low coster. Like I'm not comparing that to some, you know. Some some bigger airlines, but compared to like Ryanair, and I think they're, they're comfier than Jet 2 as well, personally. Uh, the first uh, first flight I did on one was um, Liverpool to Forza Ventura. Oh yeah, it was before our love affair with uh, Lanzarote. We were, we were yeah, doing yeah, next yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think I think it was a flight time about three, and, and yeah, they never felt at any point particularly yeah. uncomfortable or anything. It they used to be really generous on their baggage policy as well. They used to allow you by default to take the big. Hand luggage bags, you know, the, the hmm. suitcase ones, I by must, default. I must be honest, that's, uh, that's one, of the, one of the good things with the Jet 2, 22 kilos. It's, uh, it's useful, isn't it? You can't really go wrong. Yeah, yeah, obviously you pay a little bit more up front for the Jet 2 flights, but yeah. um, 22 kilos, like, you're never going to need more than that. And Martin McDonald's saying that it is a one on the side of that helicopter. Um, it's known as Thunderbird 1 by the owning company. That's quite cool, isn't that's it? That's cute, I like that. What do you keep humming, says Stephen? I don't know. I'm obviously doing it without thinking, I'm not I know. sure. I've not noticed you humming. humming is it? I don't know. Voluntarily. <laughs> Who's humming, is it me? I don't think it is. I don't know. I'll listen back. If I do it again, tell me. <laughs> Here we go. Great sound on that. It was nice. Jen, that's the aircraft that we heard flying over on our walk last night. That we were surprised how loud it was. It was the same aircraft as that. Wow. We thought. <laughs> It was that loud when we were walking, so we went for a walk about, must have been about 7 o'clock or something like that, maybe a bit later, maybe 8. And uh, yeah, it was a uh, King Air, it sounded like an Antonov <laughs> going over. I suppose it's not as high as the Antonov would be. Here's the uh, Aer Lingus Irish Rugby Team Special A320. I think I might enjoy this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the colours, yeah? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite a cool looking livery, this, to be fair. Been in a few times, this. It has. Only when you forget your camera. Yep. I've never seen it personally, I must admit. I don't there think I have, anyway. Caught it on the Dublin show as well. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, Dublin was a, a fantastic airport, very suitable for airliners live as well. It's very like similar to, to Manchester. I wish it was a little bit busier there, and obviously that's going to come with time. Uh, so we'll definitely make a return, I think, this year, yeah. maybe in the summer. We'll need be to awesome. return before that second runway opens, to be honest. Yes. Which I don't, I don't think is far away, is it? No. It's a matter of weeks, I think. Okay. So I yeah, don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen, actually. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, give it a go. Every time I see the text on the side of this plane, right, it reminds me of the font that we use. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't a little it? bit, yeah. Maybe it's the same or similar. Yeah, it is so similar, isn't it? Yeah, really similar. We use quite like a generic Sans font. Very cool, isn't it? Looking good. Aer Lingus, Irish rugby team special. Love I bit, approve. Love a, bit of, <laughs> love a bit of rugby over there, don't they? It's like, all that's all we hear about from uh, anyone from Scotland, Wales, Ireland. Yeah. It's bizarre, I mean, I grew up in a rugby town in Sweden. Did you? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Italians. I mean, Sounds, obviously okay. not rugby union, it's rugby league, but... Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's football's sort of set fiddle to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, uh, Good old Tramia Rovers, eh? Can't go wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really follow football anymore, and I think maybe last time we were here, some bloke came up to me and was a, a big Tramia Rovers fan. He had like the, the uh, coat on, you know, with the logo on, and he started talking to me about Tramia Rovers. Like, what do you think of this? I was like, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't watch football anymore. G Crow. There you go. Yes. As I zoomed in, you said that as well. You know what to do, chat. You know what to do. Let's get a bit of exposure on G-Crow, shall we? There we go. It's a bit chilly, better, isn't it? When the sun goes back behind the clouds, it's... It it's, gets you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like when you go... Have you, Paul, have you ever been to the Canary sort of in the winter time? That's November. Yeah. Yeah. When it gets when it gets dark over it there, does, it fine, just drops yeah. immediately, doesn't and yet it? And all the thermometers still say about 18 degrees. Yeah. So it's weird. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it does feel much cooler. Yeah. Like I said, I'm looking at uh, Madeira as well. It's definitely going to happen this year. How do you pronounce it? Funchal? Or yeah, Funchal, Funchal, yeah. Funchal, yeah. Funchal, yeah. Um, that's where Ronaldo's from, believe it or not. Um, we need a Ronaldo remote, I think. We do need a... <laughs> I was considering that as well. <laughs> oh, we're spamming the chat with the... There we go. The chat Lovely. knows what to do. Where's JJ? Space Ghost. You know what I mean? The Space Ghost the most... Crowair heading to the nest. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I love our chat. The banter from our chat is... Uh, Top notch. It's really yeah, good. Yeah. It is. It's not quite as good as t t today, though. Uh -huh. There's a certain trouble missing. <laughs> yeah, ah, trouble, right, yeah. Yeah. Easy jet just touching down from Malaga, actually. Quite so one of my favourite flights to do in the sim. It's a good approach, is it? Um, it's just just nice with the mountains and everything like that. Uh, Aer Lingus uh, is on the taxi out for JFK as well, so that's the A3, A321neo. The mountains look nice in the sim yesterday, didn't they? That you were yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they Virgin the Atlantic the uh, Islamabad is uh, getting on the push as well, the A330. Yeah, were well, the Andorra mountains? Andorra, yeah, I was flying over Andorra. Yeah, it looked pretty pretty good. Yeah, epic. <coughs> Don't forget, guys, if you're new to the channel, we're live every Friday and every Sunday yep. from Manchester Airport. About 10 a.m. is our usual start time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification so you get updates on when we're going to go live. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow the channel. That really does help us out. I'm seeing loads of followers coming through, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Um, well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. I hope you've had a fantastic show. Um, we're just waiting for the A380 to depart to wrap up today's show as well. Yep. Uh, usually due out in the next half an hour. Hopefully he's not too late. Cheers, Johnny. Speak to you soon.
that's how we Jenny go in. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it was nice seeing you the, uh, the other day, Jenny. <laughs> Lovely lady. Yep, buying yet more merch. I know. I think if we go to Jenny's, her whole wardrobe is going to be Airliner's Life merch. <laughs> more than mine, wow. Tag of November on the reg for that one. Yeah, I am in love with the Airliner's Life hoodies. That's just, that's not me speaking and trying to flog our merch. That is like Ooh. how I live my life. Hey, Jen, that's really good. Jen will send me that, saying, look at that. I need to get to that spot, you know. Nice. Sometimes they're really low at that point as well, like the yeah. XLs. Oh, we'll have a look for that next time, Jen. Nice one. The sun's on the right side as well. Oof. And if you are enjoying the show, guys, like I say, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe as well. If you spend a lot of time here, consider supporting the channel by becoming a VIP. You can do that by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking join, or by following one of the links in the chat. Or you can support us with a one-off donation by clicking the dollar symbol, then click super chats. Jeffrey Join Dingle saying, please. <laughs> Jeffrey Dingle saying, pleased to meet you last week, along with um, Alpha Charlie, the Concord. Yeah, it was great meeting you too, dude. Cheers, met, Jeffrey. Met so many people there. It was unbelievable. Whoa, Whoa ladies and gentlemen, oh. the second mega bong of the day from Kevin. Hey, Martin and Andy, get yourselves a coffee and chips on me. Treat your VIP guests as well. Legend Paul, cheers, Kevin D. Bless you. Yeah. There you go. Get some Thank mega you. bongs in the chat for Kevin D. Huge supporter of this channel. Yeah, if you could stick around, Paul, we'll definitely buy you a, a coffee or some chips. But um, it's up a song's he's, on the way by two. Yeah, he's okay. good. Yeah. But he's, he's, got his, uh, he's got his training. He's got to go and do 150 yeah. push-ups after this. Training? <laughs> as in train? Training? Training? No, he's got um, a personal trainer. Oh, right. Yes. I need to get on that, you know. I actually have He's one. really good, actually. Right. Can I, can I do a plug? Yeah, of allowed? course you can. Yeah, um, at Connor Willis PT. There you right. go. Yeah, he's, uh, if nothing else, you can check out his thirst trap pics on Instagram. <laughs> I was going to say. I was going to yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I remember you showing When he photos. showed us the photos of you, oh, yeah. I can understand why yeah, you picked him, Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 he's, no, he's very good. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, he looks well, like he's going to be. I was going to say, like yeah, gonna say yeah. he looks like he, he's obviously doing something right, isn't he? It's like that old trick when you go to a barber's and you pick the person with the best hair because you know they're going to be good at hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I just noticed the only thing we're wearing this hat is it keeps slipping. Yeah. <laughs> now we're all right. I think you got it on backwards. That's why. Oh, is, that, oh, this, is, that, is that how the cool kids wear their? There you go. Wear their headphones. Probably stay where it is. Yeah, now. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a learning curve. It is. It's a learning curve. You're getting there. You'll be full time soon. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, same, same time in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> same time Sunday. Hey, Mrs. Airline is live. You're not allowed to look. Well, one of my best friends is basically a personal trainer. She's not like a professional one, but she is a proper gym head. You know, like she's always in the gym. Yeah. She knows all about like, you know, what to eat and how to get healthy and stuff. And, like I'd 100% take advice from her, and I actually have a gym membership as well. Is and this a gym membership you bought last year that you've still not listen, used yet? Listen, I'm just too busy as the problem. <laughs> 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 listen, whenever, whenever it comes up, I'm always either asleep or working or making a 757 emote for you guys, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, thanks for that, love. Yeah, Anything to get you out of push-ups. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> You actually, you're a harder worker when you're trying to procrastinate. You know when you've got something on that you're supposed to be doing, and mm. you'll end up doing something more productive just to avoid doing the thing you don't want to do. Yeah. So maybe maybe, maybe I've made my money back. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's worth my while, that gym You've membership. made your gym membership money back yeah. by not going. But yeah. That's I, a I, dodge if ever. I, I, do need to, uh, I do need to go. Yeah. And I figured hooking up with her with, with that would also motivate me a bit more because when you've got someone like a personal trainer especially you don't want to waste that you don't want to let them down either you kind of want to just keep giving them good updates and saying listen i've done this i've done that there's nothing makes you more accountable than paying out money yeah, yeah exactly yeah well yeah. i went to the gym at work and there's a guy who's a proper boxer up there oh yeah he nearly killed me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honestly i'm not joking yeah, i spent yeah, yeah. 20 minutes in the toilet trying to see straight afterwards nice I think I know the guy actually, yeah. yeah. 
I found it a good one. I mean, I, I went to I went to him and said, "Listen, you are starting a Genesis here. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, go easy." And, uh, Getting off the couch to the biscuit tin yes, is yeah. a struggle at yeah. the moment. Yeah, and bless him, he did, and we we, we worked up to something really quite good now, actually. Nice. nice. It's like you on the doctor's phone the other day, what exercise do you do? Yeah, they literally said, what exercise do you do? And I was that embarrassed to say nothing that I said, I have a strenuous job. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of heavy lifting every now and then. I'll lift the camera onto the tripod it's a big lens, twice though. a day. It's a big lens. It is a big lens. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know I have to walk from the car to the mound. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exercise. That is exercise. And then I have to walk back. And then I have to get out the car to go into McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm doing me fair share, aren't I? My sister's here giggling around. Um, no, um, people underestimate steps. Oh, Jen's ringing me. Have we gone offline? Stand by. She's bringing you to... Yes. Uh, I'll check. I was just saying, that would have been uh, pretty quick to react, because I don't think anyone in the chat said it. Alright, speak to yourself. Are we okay? Yes, she's going into a meeting, and apparently I'm supposed to have Amazon coming. Oh, right. Okay. She wants to know when it is. Um, oh. uh, so, are you thinking of doing Lanzarote a bit more? Um, it'll be probably in March sometime, yeah. How long for? Are you thinking? Uh, only a few days. It'll, it'll, it'll be for Elan's live, so it'll be probably one day of recording and a test stream, similar to Dublin, and then one day of uh, a so live did, show. Did you stay in Arrecife? Did you? Last time I went, there? last time I went, I stayed in. Um, so there is the airport, mm. and then just immediately to the west of that, literally ten minute walk, there's a town right there. Oh, I, I don't know the name. Los Picolos. I think it you're is. Like, yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. Towards Porta del Carmen. Exactly. Yeah, heading and I stayed in that yeah, town, yeah. and I got a hire car because I was just like, you know, when you're dealing with stuff like that, you need to get around, and obviously it's easy to park up in places in Lanzarote. It's not like a crazy city centre where, like, around there, it's just like you can just throw your car on the side of a road somewhere so I got a hire car didn't need it it's just, I just everything was like walking distance and that that waterfront there is just like everything all the towns all the shops and restaurants you can just walk everywhere from yeah, there nice. so it was a bit of a waste that hire car but at least uh, at least I, I knew I did, I did drive around a little bit to see I went to uh, Playa Honda as well and Arrecife as well uh, just for like a, a bit of Playa sights. Blank is lovely that's where we generally go but that's, okay. that's about um about 35, 40 minutes. I like the sound of that player back. Is that like a, a nice beach, I guess? It's where, actually, where you get the ferry to Fort Ventura. Uh, you can yeah. actually see Fort Ventura from yeah. uh, Player Bank. It's, uh, but but I, I do I, I love that airport, though. That spotting opportunity there. We've actually set a bit of a trend because I've noticed a lot of spotters, especially around here, all of a sudden going to Lanzarote, like <laughs> he's uploading photos from there. It's like, hmm, have we started something here? And I, I said this before, but I reckon. In a few weeks' time, we'll have a lot of photos from Dublin all of a sudden. Like, yeah. Everyone will be copying us in Dublin. So, um, but yeah, I, I really like. I, don't, I know you'd get more variety and more aircraft at Tenerife, but it's the views for me. It's like how yeah. close you are to yeah, it. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? Sort of ski out house, but not quite. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. That, that's the best way to describe it. And Skiathos again, it's not too busy. At Skiathos is a problem, so it's, n it's not as busy as Lanzarote. I, I will be RB. Yes. I need to change the battery soon as well, so that'll be before the end of the show. But yeah, I'm excited to go. Um, yeah, it'll be in. It'll be in. A, I've not announced it properly. We do have a date in mind, but um, I'll let you know after, so you, you'll know when we're going. I think we're looking at the last week in March, I think. Yeah. That's when we're annual lead anyway. Susan saying player blanker is beautiful. There you go. Yes, no, it is. It is. Uh, oh, that's Twitch, isn't it? It's, uh, it's Top on Switch, yeah. 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 Player blanker is excellent, well worth a trip down to see it. It really is. Especially the marina. The yeah. marina's beautiful. Marina Rubicon. Yeah. But obviously, I'd need like a higher car. I mean, higher cars at the Canaries are usually so cheap. Like, especially if you go like off season. Um, I remember the first time I went to Tenerife, um, we got a hire car, it was a brand new Volkswagen Golf, it was a really good car, it was really quick, really economical, had all sat nav and Bluetooth, it was like 8 euros, a, no 8 pounds a day it was, yeah. how is it so cheap, no, it's like, lovely, yeah, it's ridiculous, great. I must admit I've never had the guts to actually uh, 
try that. I might do it one day, actually. So one thing I will say about the Canaries is they're quite calm drivers. I think it's because there's a lot of British people over there, mm. uh, a lot of older British people. So um, the driving's quite calm over there. When I went, when I went to America, for example, I went to Dallas and Austin, and the driving there was a bit uh, wild sometimes. So handed coffee by... Uh, <laughs> You're getting treated here, yeah. aren't you? Well looked after. Did you want a coffee? I'm okay, thank you. Appreciate it though. Do you think Martin will? I don't know where Martin's disappeared. Uh, well, he has one, doesn't he? He has his little flasks down there. Oh, has he got his flask? Yeah. Lovely. Keeps the uh, beverage nose nice and warm, doesn't it? Project Lanzarotti. <laughs> yeah, Project <laughs> L is the next one, isn't it? No, I, I kind of fell in love with Lanzarote. I think it was really it's good. A, it's, it's just chill. Yeah, it's, it's the lovely. vibe in it and the weather you and the beach. You must do Tim and Fire National Park. Okay. You've got to do that. Okay, I'll look into that. Up in the volcanoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And I also, um, like Tenerife is where kind of like my heart is, but um, Tenerife, it's more of a, an adventure, Tenerife, where you go and you, you're constantly hiking or you're constantly seeing things, whereas Lanzarote is more of a, a chill vibe and more having drinks on the waterfront type deal how come you guys didn't stream Sundays uh, a mixture of reasons Meg the weather was appalling we were both really tired so we would have been half asleep and the visibility was low so we just said you know what it's not worth doing a stream so we uh, just cancelled it Virgin we very Atlantic much missed it taking off There is a Tenerife YouTube vlogger who owns a hi car hire company as well. Early season. Yeah, there's a lot of hire car companies over there. I think it's definitely worth getting hire cars on these islands because you know there's not much public transport, and if you want to go somewhere exciting, you kind of would either have to get like a coach and you know get an excursion package, or with a car you can just go yourself without having to stress or plan it or anything. Virgin 330 now rolling. Love this noise. Oh yeah, same. Big long legs on the back of the 330 there. A great sound as well, blasting out of Manchester Airport. The Virgin Atlantic A330. Great to see so many of them flying these days. We see, yeah, we see multiple of them on streams. And my, my sister's nodding approvingly. Yeah. Yeah, big, big 330 fan. Yeah, they are. I've got to say, it's my, my second favourite engine noise actually. Uh, behind the. Uh, yeah. Rolls Royce uh, RB211. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say like seven sixes as well are obviously the same. Yeah. Um, Molly saying went to Tenerife for two weeks in my late teens. Don't remember much of it because I spent it all drunk. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> As you should be in Tenerife. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I remember the, the most drunk I've ever been in the Canary Islands was actually we were in Fort Ventura in a place called uh, Coral Echo. Right. And um, the husband and me did uh, like this pub quiz thing, and the prizes were sort of cocktail jugs and things like that. Mm. And we, we we won every single uh, every single quiz, and we had to crawl out that pub. Oh my I god! I don't know how we got home. Oh my god! Jugs of pina colada, it was great. Yeah. And a banging head the following morning. Can imagine. You're not doing a holiday right if you don't have at least one. I know. This is noisy. It is noisy. It's an A321 Neo, long range. I think it's off to JFK. It's now Lingus. Transatlantic on a A321. Seems to be the new fashionable thing. <laughs> Started by the seven thighs? Yes. Got to say. I'm not sure which engines are on them. I'm going to assume the Leap 1As. Uh, sometimes the 321 Neos are, are fitted with the Pratt & Whitney engines. Right, uh, are we looking? Of, need to change the battery soon. Any sign? Any sign? I, I don't, don't think, think so. so yet, are we? Let's have a little look-see. 
nothing doing. And Chester Mike, just saying that that aircraft is brand new as well. Oh, nice. The A321 Neo. And as was the uh, JetBlue plane I flew on transatlantic, that was brand new as well. So, you know, very efficient, very new, very quiet, comfortable. What's the airport in New York that um, was it United used to go to for using a 7.5? It was Newark, wasn't it? Newark, oh yeah. Newark. Newark and uh, obviously JFK is the, the main one. Well, it was interchangeable between a 7.5 and a 7.6. And if you were really lucky, you got a 7.6 ball. Mm. Any update on G-Jots, anyone? Any mods? Good shout. So that's... Uh, Juin, is that already in the air or? Let me. Uh, Ahmed saying uh, Virgin A330 300 is Rolls Royce trick, correct? Yeah. So it is. Big Rolls Royce fans, Fantastic. aren't we? Fantastic. Rolls Royce or Pratt and Whitney, we'll take them. Oh, here it is, Joe to Aviation. So it's uh, about 20 minutes out. <coughs> Definitely worth a wait for that one. Molly, did you go to Siam Park when you were there? Because that's a, it's a big attraction in Tenerife, isn't it? I'm trying to remember where we went when we were kids. It was just called the Aqua Park. I can't remember where it was. Right. I don't know where how long it's been. Where is this? Yeah, I've been there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Park it is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know how long it's been. There's a big wave pool in there yeah, as well. Yeah, it's huge, isn't the it? The one I went to had a slide called the Kamikaze. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I went up there yeah. and then walked back down. Okay. Everyone <laughs> laughing yeah. at me as I was going I went, back I went down the it. steps. It was, uh, that was pretty terrifying, you know. Like, that was like your whole body is just like completely tensed up when you're going down. Yeah. And, you know, it's hard to enjoy it. The, the reason I went back down is because you go through like a tube at the end. Yeah. And I was just dead scared about having my head up in the air and just getting decapitated. Uh, you know what I was scared of? I had quite baggy uh, shorts on. And you know you have like no control over anything. But surely like the shorts could like just catch on something and just fly off or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going down the camera. Or just have the worst wedgie you've ever had in your life. <laughs> 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 your shorts still up the slide somewhere. <laughs> Imagine you gotta walk up all them stairs to get your shorts back. <laughs> <clears throat> It was terrifying. And when you look over the edge as well, oh, everything yeah, in your body I goes I was climbing nope. up the stairs and just getting progressively more nervous. I was like, yeah, yeah I'm going I back was. down. I got to the top and there was a little queue, like a little tiny queue. And they were all having a kerfuffle because no one wanted to go down. They were all like, oh, I was too scared. So they all turned around to look at me and went, do you want to go first? I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I just run up and then I look down like, oh, I've, I've kind of like talked myself into this now, haven't I? And just see this sheer I think drop. if I would have got to the top, I would have done it. But yeah, I, I think I I went out about three quarters of the way up. Oh, right, so. at least you didn't. Because when you look over the edge, it's just a, a sheer oh, drop, isn't rough. it? And it's yeah. it, everything in your body just goes, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad idea, mate. Uh, are we live from anywhere tomorrow? No, we're having our day off tomorrow. We'll be back on Sunday for the Sunday show. I've got five days off now. Nice. Wow, Lovely. five days off. I've done seven days on. Wow, okay. Yeah. It's hard to graph that, isn't it? Yeah. Laurel Park is cool. I've, I've never been there, Mark. Ooh, uh, I've Matt, got, sorry. I've got very mixed feelings about Laurel Park. Do you? Yeah. No, since being a kid, I've, I've, I've been... In, I love whales and dolphins. And uh, I've always wanted to see killer whales, orcas, and they have them. Yeah. And my other half, bless him, he turned around and he said, listen, you, I think this will upset you. Um, and lo and behold, it did, watching the orca show. Hmm. And then not long after, there was the big documentary came out called Blackfish. Okay. And it was uh, about captive orcas in SeaWorld. Yeah. Um, I think I heard about that documentary. And Laurel Park was featured in it. Ah. Because one of the trainers got killed. Oh, right. Yeah, it was... It was uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of... Uh... Of sort of I must animals admit, display shows, no. do you know what I mean? I, I walked out of there saying I would never do it again. Mm. Um, right. I need to change the battery, so as soon as I just touch it down, I'll probably change it just before it, it vacates. Um, so bear with, ladies and gents. Yeah, Jen's dad used to do seven days on, 12 hour shifts, and seven days off. Oh, what? Well, that's killer. Yeah, he worked in the Kellogg's factory. Oh, God. That uh, oh, well, near Trafford Park? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's big there, isn't it? I love yeah. passing that on the train because uh, the smell of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We have uh, not far from mine the Cheerios factory. Oh, and it just reeks of Cheerios, like as if you put your nose in a box <laughs> type thing. I tell you what, Chester Mike is. Uh, He's on it, isn't he, he today? Really is. Right, I'm gonna quickly change the battery, ladies and gents. Right, so uh, battery change, guys. Stand by. Hopefully, the last one of the day. Do you have a command? 
I think exclamation mark battery in the chat mods is a new command that's ready to go. Oh. Uh, so Jet 2 is inbound from Palma Mallorca. You got a battery. Stand by, guys. Battery change. John, I'll see you in a bit. Jen, do you want me to pick some food up on the way back, or have you had your lunch? Oh, is Jen going? Yeah, she's got a meeting now until 3 o'clock, unfortunately. See you soon, darling. Cheers for your company, Jen. <coughs> Appreciate the uh, the modding you're doing. The mods have been on fire today. They've all been involved. They've all been hitting the new commands and things. You've eaten, okey dok. Yeah, we're back. My battery swaps are always a bit slow in the winter because I have to wear gloves and it makes everything very awkward to deal with. People saying the 380s is pinging. Chris is. Yay! The semi on time. And so Scott oh, as well. It's, it's pushing back. It is, yeah. yeah. You're out hey. there as a tail. Can we catch that on stream? Usually can't, but give it a go. What's up with John? Just about uh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers, John. Thanks, mate. Here we go. The A380, the King of the Skies, is now pinging here at Manchester Airport and pushed back. Obviously, I've, I've come up my own little turn for the A380. Yeah. Oh, see you, Jen. Take care. Um. Get this. Flying Leviathan. Ah. Oofed. Oh, yeah. Oofed. I like came, that name. Came over with that the other day and I was like, where oh. the hell did that <laughs> Missed the uh, opportunity on the right merch there. Down. We did. Write that down. Right now, 737-800 just touching down now. We've also got the, the Jota Aviation um, Avro. Yeah, that's on the way. Let me see how that's doing. Um, on the way in too, so it'd be good to catch. Be about ten minutes, I think. No, out there. There we go. So two quad jets, roughly the same time. The mini A380. Yes, it's been uh, shrunk in the wash. <laughs> there it is. So that's uh, yeah. inbound from uh, London, and it's arriving in about ten minutes' time. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's a football charter. Big in Hill, it's come from. <coughs> yep. Are they doing there? Sorry to go off topic. Are they doing chips today? I don't know. They usually they, do on they Fridays. They may do. They may yeah. do. More often it's than not, they do. To see what the time is. Uh, uh, half one now. No, from here to my gym. Just oh, got you. Work it out. Um, you gonna tell them, tell them about the chips, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 39 minutes. What time do you think? Oh, it's not too bad. No. So I've got to be there for three. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're all right. So looking at it, ladies and gents, we'll get the A380 out, and the Jota arrival will probably be our last arrival for the day. What about the Virgin 330 that happens <laughs> after that? <laughs> Lee Davies is in the chat, you know. He'll be on it. He'll be letting us know. We've also got an air chart of Scotland. Cessna 680 Citation inbound from Milan. Nice. Which left uh, about two hours ago. New Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I there thought you go. it was going to be A pop of Stephen Fry moments, if you will. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, G Jots will be I'm taking the city folks. to Norwich. To Lee Davis. I'm okay. Say, folks, my uh, brother-in-law and sister are doing a sterling job in passing me the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Got all the support today. Oh, the world loves on coffee, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I need to get into coffee. Like, I don't mind drinking it. I just don't have any routine, you know, like, in the morning, I just be tired. So I bought a <laughs> coffee grinder right? and uh, some proper coffee beans. I think if you're going to start drinking coffee, it's best to just drink really nice stuff. Because with me, I only really have, like, one cup a day, so it's it's quite... it's Because it can be quite expensive if you're drinking coffee a lot oh, to, yes. no, to no, buy no. coffee beans. But like me, if you're having one cup a day, then you can just do that and it's all right. All right. I'll uh, I'll send you a recommendation. I want something that's quite strong in terms of caffeine. Okay. So that's my only. I can tell you, boys, the railway runs on coffee. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, yeah. Co the railway wouldn't run. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit choppy. Uh, no one else is reporting that. Is anyone else having issues with the audio, guys? Maybe the wind causing that. Yeah. Choppy. I've just had a swig of coffee. Kevin saying as a Ryan at uh, eighty-two hundred, so the max. 20 minutes out I mean I think we'll be done by then yeah I'm not too bothered about waiting around <laughs> for Ryanair Max I'll be honest yeah they're quite cool to see the difference but has anyone in the chat actually flown on a Max yet by the way curious my mum has oh yeah with she Chewy said, was it she went with Chewy yeah to uh, not quite sure you pronounce this uh, her, her guard yeah in yeah. Egypt yeah. and oh, right, um, okay. she said the cabin was absolutely gorgeous was it wow and she said it was um very quiet. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, yeah, very, very nice flight. <laughs> jo Jojo says audio's fine, apart from the funny accents coming through on the audio. Oh, oh now. <laughs> hey, listen, well, I'm yeah. none of that, Jojo. Behave yourself, son. Um, Sounds great. Yeah, one, two. It's probably you, mate. I'm one afraid. thing I notice about the Maxes as well. When we were doing that storm uh, bar video, the Maxes were also like stable, weren't oh, they? Oh, they like, were. Yeah, out like, of all of them, the Maxes just didn't seem to struggle. I don't know so, why. Yeah, must be something about them that they just didn't get blown around anywhere near as much as the 7.3s, regular ones, or the uh, or the A320s or anything. And the Etihad's pinging now as well, is it? So they must just handle like uh, turbulence and things quite well. I've got to say that 7.3.7 next gen we got by from Manzarotti didn't handle the turbulence very well. Didn't. <laughs> that, was, that was quite choppy, that was. Dodgy accents. Yeah, we've got we've got a full-blown Scouser. Yeah. yeah, an adopted scouser <laughs> from St Helens of 20 years adopted scouser right. Mancunian there were you, you born in St Helens or were you born in Liverpool I was actually born in Wiston oh that hospital, hospital that, yeah, yeah, yeah. technically Knowsley right yeah technically and but ladies and gents we got a massive bing bong for Terry Campbell Whoa. with a 20 Australian dollar super chat bing bong thank you Terry cheers Terry appreciate it cheers dude wow it must be late for you Terry right now <laughs> Didn't Ryanair say passengers can cancel their flights if they find out they're on the max? Yeah, that's yeah. why they that renamed true? it from a max that's to why, something else. That's why they don't call it a so max. So people don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. There's definitely something along those lines was uh, as to why they don't call it a max, mainly yeah. because of the controversy no, as well. I just thought the Max 200 name was just the name for the high, um, high capacity one. It's the, well, they have their own variant, yeah. It's yeah. but it, it's not called a max according to Ryanair. That's oh, the thing. Right. But yeah, it is a max, but it just has like different seating configuration. And I think one of the exit doors have been taken out as well, or something along those lines. So one of the channel rack and wind. stack them. <laughs> exactly, that's, that's it, yeah. Less exit rows, more more rows in general. So yeah, yeah. Um, right now have their own like exclusive version of the max, basically, is what I'm saying. And it's not called a max. <laughs> According to, to yeah. Ryan, uh, Lauren, but, it, but it is a max. Lauren Howard, I, I'm in St. Helens and was also born in Wiston. I think everyone in St. Helens was born in Wiston. Right, it's a big hospital. Like, I've, yeah. I've, I've actually dropped someone off there once, so it's pretty big. I was with that James, went, remember the, the guy who had the bike in oh, our God. work and he crashed on the way and he ended up in that Wiston hospital? No way. <laughs> Um, the, guy, the guy we knew who uh, used to get the train to work and it was like a, a, a really long journey for him. So we got a um, a little 125cc bike, and on his first ever commute to work, he crashed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Drink me Jackson, the one's fault. You got it, mate. It's uh, welcome to premium economy. There Keep you go. Chelsea. Brand new VIP. Bing Thanks bongs, very much. please, folks. Bing bongs. I was waiting for the bing bong there. <laughs> yeah, he crashed at a traffic light. So that's really yeah. funny. 
welcome rugby. I've never rode a bike in my life. I was like, mate, let's have a go on your bike. So I was like, I had a ride around the car park, didn't crash, absolutely fine. <laughs> He's done his lessons and crashes at like two miles an hour and yeah. manages to break his arm. Because I remember a couple of nights before, because I was kind of close to him. I kind of escort. He, he took it to work, but he didn't like. I can't remember how he got to work. He went like a really wonky way, and I kind of like escorted him back. You know, like I drove behind yeah. him and to show him which way because you can't use a sat nav on, on bikes. You got to like just know the way. Um, and then the next day, I showed up to work and he wasn't there. And I was like, "Where is he? He's usually early." And then the boss was like, "Yeah, he's crashed." <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And there so, it is, the King of the Sky is on the taxi out. Edward the pilot, hey, big man raiding with 55 viewers. 55 viewers? Hope you're doing well, mate. Woo Hope you had a good stream, dude. Welcome What all. are you flying today? Let us know in the chat. Welcome, raiders. You're tuning in just at the end of today's show. We are going to get the A380 out, and then we've got a Jota Aviation uh, RJ on the way yeah. in as well. She's just on the ILS now, the RJ100. The Mini A380. We'll actually probably get that in and then the Emirates out, I would yeah. have thought, looking at it. I've always, always, always been a big fan of that livery. Yeah, I, I, I like it, you know. The Dreamliners looked... Uh, looked Ooh, yeah. Have they still got Dreamliners? Mm. Uh, yeah, no. I think they do. Didn't they move away from Long Haul, Norwegian? I think Norwegian? they did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, trying to start Dreamliners. Stunning in that. Yeah. Really appreciate the raid, mate. Thanks a lot. I, uh, I'm old. a watch. I'm a viewer of your channel as well, dude. Love it. It's just I the uh, anything Twitch. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Good afternoon, um, Warisa ninety two. Nice one. This looks like a biz jet. Was that this the citation that you were talking about? I think. G jots on ILS. It is. Yeah. So I if thought, you I are thought this was uh, it, brand new to the channel, we do stream every Friday and every Sunday from Manchester Airport, guys. Yeah. 10 a.m. UK time. So if you do enjoy watching some live aviation, then uh, make sure you uh, follow the channel. Yep. We've been live since about 10 o'clock this morning. So uh, you're just tuning in at the end of today's show, unfortunately. But uh, hope you can catch us on the next one. Yeah, it's been fun today. I've enjoyed it. Loads of cool movement today. We had the Iceland Air brand new uh, yellow livery aircraft. Uh, we also had the... Um, the, uh, that helicopter that came in as well, which was pretty yeah. cool. That was cool. That was, uh, rare, that wasn't was it? really cool. We see the Aer Lingus Irish rugby team special again. Four. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rigby Jackson, thanks for the five Australian dollars uh, super chat. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. What time on Sundays, guys? Uh, between 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. is the time we go live. Yeah, so usually about 10, to be honest, these days. And it's good to see the airport getting a bit busier these days, especially Ryanair making a return to, um, you know, semi-busy service. Fly flying anyone that wants to fly. Yeah. Exactly, anyone who's left. Are we in the Microsoft Flight Sync category? I thought we'd changed that to just chatting. It may have changed, but... Mm. Right now we have the Emirates A380 on the taxi out. Oh, my phone's on 18%. Something's tanked it today. Ah. Mm. Mine's not quite well today. <laughs> oh, really, Architect? That's, uh... So the triple seven X engines are now not having the serrated cowling on them. Oh, oh, that's news. Okay, I wonder why. Well, it's it's all about noise abatement, isn't it? The whole yes, uh, it is. Yeah, it's a noise thing. And it does it does wonders. You know, if you ever get a chance to go to the airport pub and you see the Maxes take off, because you're behind them, then there's no noise from them. No, it's no. like. Especially if they're at Mike 1 rather than Juliet 1. You don't hear anything. Nice aircraft this. Beautiful. Lovely. Very low wings to the ground. Yeah. Especially with them flaps down as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Bit of a Dreamliner-esque tip on the wing there as well. Yeah. That's a lovely looking thing, isn't it? It is.
Tile to Marker loving that one as well on Switch. <coughs> Great. Get a bit peckish now as well. I am. What are you going to do? Are you going to get some chips or are you going to... I don't know. I'm either going to get some chips from here or I'm going to grab something on the way home. I don't know. But here's the Joe to just about to touch down, I believe. And yeah. the A380 will be next out, just behind also. Oh, look at the light hitting that uh, A380. That's lovely. Mm. Yeah. Love seeing this, uh, this aircraft here at Manchester. Brian D, thanks for the $5 super chat. Bing Bong says, great stream. Watching from Ohio, USA. You can see the, uh, just about to see the spoilers out behind the wing. It's really hard to see from this angle. But the, uh, they, were, they deploy pretty high up, don't they, the, mm. the spoilers? The ones on the tail, anyway. There we go. As you can see, it's stopping very quickly. This aircraft does not hang around when it comes to stopping. These are sort of big air brakes on the tail. Yeah, like I said, you can't quite see it. You can just see it behind the tail, behind the wing there. They are huge. Yeah. And they are powerful as well. Pneumatics. Yeah. So I'm not sure when they retract. It's a wonderful aircraft though, this. That's, uh, yeah. I would say not something we see arriving on the show very often. Usually we catch it departing. Yeah. Yeah, great to see it arriving on today's show. Regular visitor, charter flight. Love how that little thing's got four engines. That's wicked. Yeah, it's great. Some power on it. Wicked. I don't know. You should see them departing. They're, they're up so quick. Yeah. Keep an eye on the tail there for that uh, spoiler to retract. Yeah. A380 lining up, but we'll stick with the Jota for now. I know it's really cool. Let's look at this with the, uh, the speed brakes up as well. The flaps. Wow. Jay with a five super chat. Bing bong. Cheers, Jay. Look at this, guys. What a great shot. I know. There you see go. There, there they go. And that's retracted. All also. sail. Great view. Good question from uh, Rob E. Great show today, guys. When is man expected to return to twin runway operations? Oh, we don't, know, don't know. Yeah. We don't know, dude. There's no official word on that, I'm afraid. Good question. I would expect... I don't... I'd, the way it's looking, I'd be surprised if it's this year. Yeah. 8380 on the roll. Like, it needs to be really busy to justify two runways, right? Yeah. I think we've still got about 50% capacity on the yeah. one runway at the moment, so... Yeah. We might get there soon, I don't know. Oh, uh, I think we've lost... I think we've lost a stream. Record it, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, we've lost it. Good time, isn't it? Don't worry guys, we've recorded that for you. You're going to hear me say that again in a second. <laughs> Interesting, eh? Oh, YouTube was fine, was it? That's the glory of having this here, I guess. A few people saying they've lost it, other people saying it's good. Could be uh, a YouTube issue rather than an us issue looking at our stream, guys. We've had no dropout at all at our end. Etihad's on the taxi out as well, we can just see that. We'll, um, we'll replay that A380, ladies and gents, now while we uh, get this Etihad on the taxi out. And then um, we'll finish with the, uh, the Etihad departure. Enjoy this. Yeah, might take a moment to replay it because I need to look at the, the view here. Test the mic saying YouTube didn't break. Okay. One moment. There's only one modem showing as well. See that? Oh, yeah. Well, both of them have lights on. That's weird. Unless one of them's just having a nightmare. Maybe that's why. Give that a refresh. Oh, there's the drop. Yeah, yeah weird. 
we might be just on one, one network that's the problem weird eh yeah it looks like we might have lost one of our networks guys <clears throat> yeah, we'll, look, we'll look into that um, why is this just saying that cheers for all the follows going through on twitch really do appreciate it no problems there, 5-5 five, five the whole time. So everyone saw the A380 then, okay, no worries. Good, good. Yeah, I think it dropped up for a moment and maybe it went into that weird like spiral thing. It was okay on YouTube. Anyway. Oh, that's the Max, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, so it is, good yeah. eyes. As we were like looking around for that solution. I'm curious as to why that is though. Like there's clearly one of the networks on, on having a good day. So have you refreshed that when page? When I plugged in it, I, I had two of them. So have you refreshed that page or is it is not like come back online, has it? Because you'd think it'd like try and reconnect. No, so we're just on the one. Okay. Alright, right, well when we finish we'll reboot it and see yeah. if it comes back on, if not. It was definitely there at the start. A hundred percent. Anyway, let's catch this. Uh, Etihad Dreamliner 787-10 go out. And then we will catch, uh, well, we've got this Max as well, 737 Max, or it's an 8200, as it's, I guess, officially known as by Ryanair. Hope you've enjoyed today's show, though, ladies and gents. We did have a little drop out there where the 380 was rolling, but a lot of you seem to still catch it. So that's good. Sounds quite good, that Ryanair, I'll admit. Yeah. Let's have a look. We've got a Ryanair. Sounds completely Max. different, that, doesn't it? It yeah. really does. Standard 737 fare going up. Yeah. Liquid Sky, hello, nice to see you. With these Ryanair Maxes, some airports you see loads of these like Stansted. I yeah. do like that sh uh, Skimitar. Sharpet winglet, I always get confused. Skimitar winglet. Skimitar Yeah. That is the zoom, uh, I like the, the, the one yellow, one yeah, blue. That's, that's, yeah, that's it looks smart. And there you go, ladies and gents. A Ryanair 737-8200. Where's that registered? Malta, probably. Yeah. Is that nine? Yeah, yeah it nine is, hotel. Yeah. It'd be Malta, Reg. Malta is registered, as a lot of Ryanair's are. Yeah, we have lost one network, guys. So you may see slight degradation on the image quality from now on. Um, not something that we can really fix without restarting the stream. So yeah. for this last departure, we'll uh, we'll catch that and then we'll finish up for today. So we Pentley, thanks very much for tuning in, dude. Tuning in from Wiltshire, UK. Is that a Max? I guess technically, yes. It is. And we'll catch oh, this Etihad is the last one, and then we'll wrap it up there. Strong with the thing. Aviation yeah. fuel. Yeah. Great. It's a nice smell in it. Yeah, I keep forgetting I need to look for them candles. <laughs> I think just as an aftershave, that would be lovely. <laughs> Perfect sound and vision on YouTube here, says Susan. Nice one. Any plans on streaming uh, live air shows in the future? I would love to stream a live air show, but I think Planes TV have got a lot of contracts for those. Yep. Uh, I don't think we'd get a look in. I would love to do it. If there's Ooh. any air shows or anyone who works for any air shows in the UK, big ones that are watching and, and may be able to get us on that, we would 100% accept that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Planes TV uh, look after that, and they, they do a great job as well. Really good. Sneaky KLM there. Taking yep. an intersection, didn't he? Intersection. Yep. Turn and burn. Off she goes. Back to the Netherlands. Now you can ping all at once, Lee. <laughs> Was that a virgin by any he chance? He said, come on, virgin, start pinging. <laughs> <laughs> Always the same, innit? As always, guys, you've been watching Airliners Live, your home 
for live aviation. Yes. We hope you've enjoyed the show today. Etihad Dreamliner on the taxi out. We've been joined today, special guest, Mr. Bing Bong, Paul Davies. Can oh. we get a yay or nay in the chat for Paul's performance today, yeah, guys? Yeah, big nay. <laughs> Appreciate you, you coming enjoyed yourself? I loved it. You loved yeah. it? No, it's been brilliant. Good lad. Yeah. It took me out of my little uh, comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, I enjoyed your company. No, it's been great. Thank yeah. you very much. Appreciate it. <coughs> and you suit the hat as well. Yeah. 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 Cheers, architect. We'll uh, definitely look into that, mate. <coughs> the thing about um, with air shows is you can't just rock up and start streaming you know they no they usually have quite strict rules it's on ticketed isn't it so essentially you're stopping people buying tickets yeah lee davis you cheeky monkey <laughs> <laughs> he's a spicy one isn't he <laughs> phoebe's on a break at the airport nice one phoebe we're just about to wrap it up now with this uh, etihad you're quite a natural on the mic as well paul by the way thank you it's all, all the the experience on train pas yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You used to work in a call centre as well. And the oh, next yeah. stop will be McDonald's. I, know, I was thinking, what kind of announcements do you do on yeah. trains? You do like this train Sorry terminates. We're <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop fighting at the back. <laughs> There's no alcohol, thank you. Sorry, we're not moving. We broke down, yeah. etc. Yeah. There's a leaf on the truck. Thanks, Mike. There's a leaf on the truck. <laughs> there we go. That's the add on the People joke about that. That's a big deal, actually. Yeah. I'll bore you with that in a minute. It must be uh, awesome when it's all kicking off, right? Yeah. Poor rail head adhesion. It's been quite warm this winter, though, hasn't it? Have you noticed there's not been a lot of problems with ice? Like, I used mm. to have to get ice off my car pretty regularly, you know? The, uh, Good old global warming, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Keeping my car defrosted. <laughs> And off she goes to wrap up today's show. Catching oh, wow. the sun on the wings as well looks fantastic. The wing flex on the dash tens is beautiful. The, di the difference in uh, yeah, it's quite remarkable. The difference in length. It really is, and especially between the the eights and the tens. Yeah, completely different aircraft, aren't they? It certainly is. Well, there you go. That's going to wrap us up today. We're going to finish there, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed the Friday show. Have a great start to your weekend. We're going to be back on Sunday morning uh, about 10 a.m. So if you do want to see some more live aviation from Manchester Airport, then make sure you follow the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back from Manchester on Sunday. Big thanks to Paul D for tuning in and uh, IRL today yeah. next to us on the old microphone. Oh. And uh, Mr. Brownville smashing the camera as always. Mm. We're going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks very much for tuning Take in. Take care, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Lots of love. To half an hour. See you all soon. Bye. Yay. Right, no swearing. You're still on. Am I? <laughs> <laughs>